What? What do we got? We're professional now. Are we ready to do this? I am so ready to do this. What's going on, everybody? And my headphones are cracking and everything else is cracking. And what's cracking? It is <laughs> Tuesday. It is time for Collider Live. And what a crew we have today. It's the crew of Roxy Stryer. Hello, Roxy. Hello, Governor. Oh, it's a, it's a weird sound. It's a weird sound. I can't hear a thing. You can't yeah. hear anything? Nope. All right. Josh McCook is here. It's all of our volume, so I'll turn it up in a second. It's cool. And then we got Mr. We Brett go. Sheridan is here. Right. Thank you. Hi. Hi. And, uh, and Mark Riley. How you doing? Going here. good. Oh, there we go. There it is. Wait, turn this yeah. Wait, is this? Yeah. Wait. That was me. How's that, everybody? No, everybody? That was me. Yeah. That was me. Yeah. Why, why are we doing this now in the you middle of the show? You keep popping for some reason. It's your, I think your cable is still popping. The yellow. Every still time, popping? Yeah. There's a little bit. I don't of... know what's happening. Hey, guys, we're working this out on the air. It's Collider Live. <laughs> let's just start uh, sound check. Let's, uh, we'll let's go back. live. Okay, good. Um, hope everybody is doing good today. Um, <laughs> it is the second show of the week, and we were you, we missed you yesterday, Brett Sheridan. Well, thank you. You did. You were. I wouldn't say I'm it, missing but... the mod. <laughs> I missed him because I, I saw you. Um, you recovered from the live event. You were an absolute disaster at the live <laughs> event. Um, and I'll tell you why. Because this is the thing with Brett. Brett loves being on this show. He loves being. He loved being on the Schmo show. He was so excited <laughs> to be on there, and, to, and he and he was excited when fans would would say, "Oh my goodness, people actually know who I am at this point, and they and they want me to, and they like my bits, and they, and and was very excited." So then, what did he do when a whole bunch of fans were at the live event? He hid in the corner, <laughs> and like a rat trying to stay out of the rain. He you 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 want you wanted you wanted nothing. Is to that do. an original? Is that a Christian Harlow no. original? Yeah. Like a rat, a rat trying to stay out of the rain. That's pretty good. So. Yeah. Awkward. Oh, yeah. like, I, I, can, I can't believe it. But anytime I say something Aww. about Brett on this show, and, and people start attacking me. So start attacking me. He's no, the most ahead. lovable person no, in the world. It's not a mean I thing. You know, he's one of my best thing. friends in the world. Yeah, it's not a bad thing to be an awkward person. But like, I tried to hug him today, yeah. and it was as if like somebody who had come back from a different life was in, he <laughs> he just was so freaked out and like weirded out that somebody would want to hug him yeah. listen hashtag me too i um <laughs> no you did the, you went like this, this I, you prefaced your you hug did. With I, this. I saw I, I went like this it was i'm a, a short person it was like an over thing he didn't know what was going on so i was there for like that's, I how, get, well, that's how people hug so, you know what i hate when you do it sometimes yeah. the over? It's, no the side hug Oh. I hate the side. I do a side, 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 side. Give me that Christian side. You know, like uh, the. Give me that Christian. Do I do a side? Oh. No, there's a. Yeah. No, you oh. know the side. Oh, hug. like like it's I like, do a it's side like hug. you're kind of there, well, but yeah. I'm not really side invested. It's the worst. A side hug is for somebody that you've seen a lot recently, and you're done with it. You don't want to give them a whole hug. You, so right. you give them like a hey, good morning. Right. It's a church but you know camp what, hug. You know what else is the worst is when somebody just shakes your hand like a dead fish. That's the side hug. No, that's not the side. It is. My favorite is this one. No, because that doesn't take any less time than an actual handshake. A side hug is quick. All right, I want to find out, though, what happened. Why were you so awkward on Saturday night? Well, I want to say, first of all, I mean, I love seeing fans, and that's it's a very exciting thing for me, but I also feel like an imposter, and, like, I'm not, like, why are you so excited to see me? Because I don't even think highly of myself half the time, and, you know, I'm no big deal. Have you seen my car? Um, you know, so it was just like, <laughs> yeah, kind of car you but it's like, Hey, I love you. Oh, thank you so much. And I'm very thankful. And then it's like, then there's this moment of like, what are we supposed to talk about now? Right. You know, cause I'm not into the schmo down. So I've been, you know, can't talk about that. I'm just kidding, Christian. I loved it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, it's, it's a weird thing. I have social anxiety. I, uh, yeah. I, d- I, w- I looked for people I knew because it's like I just I feel well that was weird. the so I said to him I was, well, I t- so I was going there that night my wife dropped me off and I, well, I checked with Brett first I'm like I, I know you're coming tonight because he lives close he's out of everyone he lives the closest near me right. so I said, you, you know, dummies on the west side. Well, I was like, can it's you? It's fine. Uh, I live it, literally next door to you, so. I didn't oh, know you were gonna fine. you were gonna that's drive fine. me home. Oh, no, it's you fine. Didn't, you're, not, you're not even close to me. I was also way too drunk to drive. Right. Uh, what are you talking about? I live literally next door to you. No, you don't. You no, live you in don't. West Hollywood. No, I don't. You don't. You know exactly where I live, Beverly right next Hills, to Screen right? Junkies. 
That's that's nowhere near where I live. Yeah, it's right below that. We live right. We've had this conversation for like fifteen times. But there was someone else. No, it was me and you. <laughs> I don't live there. Yeah, you, I used to live over there a long time ago. No, I'm going to show you exactly where I live. No, we'll do that during the break. Yeah. Okay. Um, so anyway, he was supposed to take me home, and he said, "Yeah, because he's going to he's five sure. minutes." Away. So then. I get a text because I have all my stuff with me. It's not like just, just you know there by myself. I had all my stuff, changes of clothes, all the props and stuff. And he goes, I get a text. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail. I'm like, you're gonna bail? <laughs> I'm about to do the Q and A with the fans. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm gonna ride home. He's like, he's like, yeah, you can't Uber it. And I'm, and I'm like, I, I mean, I could, but I got all this crap. And he's like, yeah. all right, I just, I don't know what to do. And I go, go talk to some of the fans. And he just starts shaking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will say, uh, we were down in the basement. I see Brett. I didn't know you were going to be there. I was like, oh, Sheridan, what's up? And he's like, hey, hey man. He looked like, miserable. You looked miserable. Miserable. It's 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 new to me and it's frightening <laughs> and it's because you I'm like so you get this like hey and you're like I don't where do I know you from because that's what I run into all the time with people I actually know right. where I'm like holy shit what's this person's name where do I know you from is this from high school college L A whatever you know I looked I ran into Rachel Bilson in the grocery store and I went up to him like I didn't go to college with you <laughs> sorry I'm sorry that was weird. <laughs> Did you really? Um, yeah, I thought it was. I'm like, I recognize you. Did yeah. we? Oh, you're on television. I did that with Amber Heard once. Uh, <laughs> I saw her at a sushi place, and I looked up and I was like, "That is a really attractive woman." I'm like, "How do I know her?" I'm like, "I know her from somewhere." I'm like, thinking of like my, my Adam Winkleman. Yeah. I was like, "Yeah, he, I must have met her through him." I'm like, so I'm about to say something. I go. That's Amber Heard. <laughs> and, uh, but then you've, you've already been like staring yeah, at them yeah, awkwardly. Yeah. Like, like I, how do I know you? I did well, it with Henry Winkler on my first trip out here. I thought he was my basketball coach. Went right up to him. Phil Levoff, how you doing, my man? The fact that you're a basketball Phil coach. Levoff. The fact that, that Phil like Levoff looked coach, like the Fonz is incredible. I, like, did really they call went, him the Fonz? I went at him for like 30 minutes. We were on the same flight. And I was like, you remember back in the NGBA days and that buzzer beater? Like, And he was just like, finally, after a little bit, he was like, you know me because I'm the fucking Fonz. I'm the Fonz. <laughs> like, literally just winning. And he sat it straight up, and I was like, hey. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, the, the okay, the, the show Goldbergs. Uh, yeah. Do you guys ever watch that show? No. I've seen I've it. I've seen it. Okay. A, a once or a it? twice. Are I've you a big fan? Uh, I love that show. Yeah. It's amazing. So there's this girl on uh, the Goldbergs, and I saw her two years ago at Comic-Con. Sinead and I were at that WB party at the Hard Rock. Mm -hmm. And I go up to her, and, I'm, and she's... She's dressed in that. They were. They had that pop up that looked like the chocolate shop in Riverdale, and so she looked mm. like a waitress in the Riverdale thing. I love that he knows whatever. the reference. Oh yeah, pops chocolate. Yeah, there you go. And it's just uh, pops. I don't know. I I can recognize this girl, chocolate but I can't also. put the face and name to it. She's just hanging out, and I was like, "Hey, do you mind taking our picture?" It was just me and Sinead, and Sinead was like. It's Allie from Allie and AJ or something like that. I was like, I don't know oh, who that is. Right. I don't know who that person Allie is. Allie from and Allie I was like, and AJ. Oh, you're the girlfriend in Goldberg. Yeah, so that's the other thing though too. It's like, why can't you ask Allie someone who's on TV to take your picture? Yeah, people do that. It's like, wait, you can't ask them to take your picture. They're a celebrity. Well, they, what? Their fingers are broken. They can't. I mean, you can you can be able to ask Brad Pitt. Yeah, hey, can you take a picture. Yeah. Do you mind? Being. Well, so yes, he's too good to take a picture. F off. He was huh. a, he was Sunday a night. Point. Sunday night we were at this uh, this play at the Pasadena Playhouse. I never go to theater, but it was actually pretty sweet. And Jason. Play. It was called Native Gardens, mm. and uh, Amanda's godmother was a star of it, and Jason Alexander was the director. Obviously, I'm a huge Jason Alexander fan. Seinfeld's my favorite show of all yeah. time. And Friends is better. He was, he, we were around, and then we were on this, this like red carpet step and repeat, and uh, I, I asked this kid, I was like, hey, man, do you mind taking me and my wife's picture? He's like, no. He was like this really dumpy kid, and he was just kind of like miserable, like, oh, I can't believe I'm here. And it was Jason Alexander's kid. I was like, oh, he wow. looks too much like Jason Alexander That's after the, the, the photo was taken. He was like, here, your phone back. Right. And Amanda was like, why is that kid so pissed? Wow. Pissed off. Yeah, yeah listen. Um, but He's anyway. probably had to that do was... it his whole life. But yeah. Did you recover at all, or what yeah, happened? Yeah, no, I mean, I feel bad. I've always had trouble taking compliments and when I did like plays as a kid yeah. like I didn't want to go on the line and shake people's hands and you know after stand up I like I like stand up I like the you know the laughter the immediate like oh that feels good thank you for your acceptance and I'm going to go hide yeah, in the corner yeah. you know I just it's it's weird for me and I don't but again I, I appreciate every fan that came up to me yeah, and no, it was yeah, very yeah. nice to meet everybody I had no disrespect but I just it's it's Do a you wish they thing. wouldn't no, no, I, no, 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 I, I don't want to ruin. I mean, if they if if they actually think I'm cool, that's that's neat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, he's got he is a thing that him and Ken have a very similar thing um, because Ken Ken has dealt with it yep. better, but Ken Ken has that same thing, but Ken has now embraced it a lot more. And I think Ken because I had Ken on one on one, which is coming out today, cool. and he talks about how it's he's his confidence has changed like tremendously in the in the last like 
I don't know, five years. And I think even listening to you yesterday, right? Like you beat you, you're you come across very confident, but like you beat yourself up all the time. Oh yeah. You're always saying how you're annoying and this and then it's like you you're I'm always a little annoying. You, see, <laughs> but you're not. And you do these things. And I told her yesterday, I'm like, we've got I want to work through this. And because like and and I was also thinking about like today, I mean, yesterday too. I I mean I've been having a I've been having a rough week. Yeah. Um. Today is 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 not not the best for me to, to the keep opposite. it going. Well, yeah, it's the anniversary of of nine eleven. Obviously, for a lot of people out there who, in general, even if you didn't lose anybody, it's it, it was it was a day in, in in our history, in the world's history, that is something that just you know, it's just it changed the entire global landscape. Everything, and day. it's a tragic day. And and not only did I lose one of my close friends during that time, Brian Cashier, like, who pretty much shaped. He was the guy. He introduced me to George Carlin. Oh, nice. Uh, he when I shouldn't have been watching it. Was he a uh, comedian? No, he was he, he he was just a kid I went to grammar school with, you know, and he was I met him in the he first. He went to St. Roberts. St. Roberts, he did. I, went, I met yes. him in the first grade, um, and we just we hit it off. And he his dad owned a video store. Oh, that's awesome! Which is the coolest. And like he and he had, he was he had a laser disc player, Ooh. and like back in the day, you know. So I would go. Yeah. We, we play. We used to pretend like play superheroes and stuff too. And I, like I that's I friendship. tapped I tapped into my creativity when everyone else thought it was nerdy. You know, like, and he was the guy that was like, it was, we it was, I remember, I can remember vividly, he would have his cousins over and friends over, and the, he would set his basement up to where it was like his own room. This is like a you know, nine, 10 year old kid who had like this whole basement to, yeah. all, to all to himself. Was he but, an only child? And no, he wasn't. He, okay. had, he had a sister. Um, but when but I met him, he was. Isn't the coolest thing about the East Coast houses, the basements? Because my brother and yes. I just lived in our basement. Yep. Same. Never went anywhere else. We called it the jungle room. That, and yeah. there was leopard print on the ceiling. And we didn't have that. Pool table. But, no, but it, <laughs> it was would, dope. But it was, it was great. He had, he had Did a, your parents run a porn studio? I, I know. Think? Oh, I did leopard get my first blowjob down there in the jungle room. What happened? I gave my first blowjob in the jungle room. Did you really? He's got to leave the dick. What was that? He's got to leave the dick. Oh, well, I guess he left it. Oh, yeah. Um, Sometimes but... you got to leave the dick. <laughs> In what context did I wow. say that? Oh, man. This was going in such library a decent direction. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just... I'm sorry. We, we were talking about something so I'm different. I'm so well, fucked. Yeah, I guess I'll tell you. Blow job, not fucked. I'm going to tell you, though, that I, get, I don't know if that's going to tap into that worst dates later on, but I guess maybe we'll get there. Um, but <laughs> guy had his there's own, no date involved. There's no date. It's just a sloppy thing. Just, wow. Yeah, what? we can continue. <laughs> remember when you could I don't not know go on can. dates and still get BJ's? Yeah. Yeah. I, remember I don't know if those were the grade. dates. It was, yeah. it was the eighth grade? The eighth Look grade. at you. That's, that's before, about the time I got BJ's. Before, before I had my first kiss. Th that what? Was the, wait, that was, yeah. that was your introduction? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. So <laughs> seven uh, minutes in uh, hand. I will yeah. tell you guys that. Whoa, whoa! Save it for the 9/11 discussion. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that's, oh. that's what we were talking oh. about. Literally before the show, oh. Christian looked right at me and was like, "Don't fuck up my segment." <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I didn't wow. say that. It was. Oh. Like, it was. Uh, look. I couldn't well, keep I, it together. Let me look at the schedule second. here. Uh, if that's what comes in your mouth, not on the schedule. Later. But well, you know. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't know so if I can sorry. get back into it. But, um, yeah, was, I really blew that's it. That's what's called a transition. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> wow. Yes, you did. Um, sorry, Grammy. All right. Well, where do I suck from? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. Great question. Well, first you have to actually trim the balls. Oh, oh man. Wow. All right. It All right. is. Why don't we currently go to a break? 10 13 in the a.m. here, and here on Carlotta Carlotta It's Live. getting hot in Burbank. Wow. Phil Levoff, Phil That's Levoff, a chat anyone? room in here. Right Phil now. Levoff was who? He, that was, wow. No, no, no. You're breaking a scandal here. The basketball to bring coach. It back was, to something. Well, you yeah. just did. You gave a Hummer to <laughs> Henry no, Winkler? No. Hey. That's not who it was, too. Uh -oh. He was really old. <laughs> What, the, the guy? No, no, Phil Levoff. Phil oh, Levoff. You're really running into a ditch here. <laughs> get me out. Get me out. <laughs> We're trying. And I felt bad about my 9-11 story. Now this is, thank you, Brock. Yeah. You're so welcome. <laughs> I, I started, Brett, so awkward. Let me tell you. Yeah. So, I mean, seriously, I'm talking about, and it was really nice. We used to play superheroes. I blew a guy in a basement <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I was in the eighth grade. What a Next, lovely tr tribute to It was to me, Gretchen's Phil friend. Levoff, Henry Winkler. Can I just Winkler? tell you real quick? This chat room right now exploded, <laughs> laughing this and and it, with pure comedic timing in the chat room, it just goes, "Oh my God, BJ!" Why did and I then do it? Pauses, I wait, don't know. And then it pauses, and then one one comment what, did goes. Did you say it, goes, it, or why did you give the BJ in awesome. the basement? I know what. Uh, <laughs> Both. Why did you do it? You regret it? You haven't even heard the 
at the best part of the whole story. Might as well just <laughs> dive yeah. in now. You're up to bat. You're up yeah. to bat. And you it's were worried about her talking about a relationship <laughs> last week. Here we week. go. Beat in the basement. So, okay. So I gave him the blowjob because... <laughs> yeah, okay. We established that. <laughs> because everybody else had already kissed somebody and I never had. I so want to go I, one over. So I was like, I'm going to try something he can't possibly know if I'm bad at. Because yeah. if I'm a bad kisser, he'll know. He's kissed like 50 people. If I'm bad at the BJ thing, he won't know. So I was so proud of myself afterwards. I was <laughs> sprint, <laughs> sprinting upstairs to my brother's room and <laughs> I just gave my first blowjob. <laughs> he was like, oh my, god. oh my god, oh my god, are you kidding me? Was didn't, he excited? He didn't speak to me for oh, like okay. a year. How old and then I'm so told everybody in high school that I was a lesbian so that when I got there. <laughs> it sounds like a story Chunk would tell. <laughs> so when I got there, I wouldn't give any more blowjobs. And then you gave it up. Oh, and then, and then, no more. And then, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no. My brother literally, he was literally like, why the fuck would you tell me that? Why right. are you telling I me that? I love that you're like, hip, you're like skipping up the stairs. Like, this is going to go over well. Yeah. How do you think that goes over well? I was just like too young to understand <laughs> like what it was, I guess. You broke at that, too. Yeah. She's like, what's everybody giving? Kisses? <laughs> me, yeah, Jason. I know, right. <laughs> All the belts. <laughs> <laughs> all the belts, all oh, the sloppies. God. Oh, well, he's always bringing me sausage. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the greatest tragedies in our nation's uh, history. I get back uh, into it. All right. So listen. Oh. I, I Should we take a break? I don't know. I'm gonna try to get into it. I think Brian Castro would be laughing right now. Right. That's good. I think That's he good. would be laughing at yeah. this. Right. And because you oh. know, the funny thing is, you talk about raunchy humor, and that was what George Carlin did. I'm we no Carlin, though. But, no, but yeah. I'll tell you though, the first time I ever heard, I certainly wasn't getting blowjob. In, the, in, in when I was 13 years old, I can tell you that didn't happen for a long time. That mullet wasn't helping anybody. Um, but um, I was, uh, I would watch George Carlin and okay. I hear all these dirty, filthy words. I'm like, this is fantastic. Yeah. This is great. And is Brian, that how you learned a lot of them? This is how I knew I wanted to do stand up immediately. It was, it was Carlin and, at Carnegie. Yeah. It's a fell, great album. fell in love with My it. My dad had that on non vinyl. It was it's uh, the best, and yeah. it was the best. It was the silly type of humor. It was it was everything that it was. And Brian introduced me to that. Brian was the guy that I would get myself into trouble with at, at, at St. Roberts. At yeah. Saint, like we would do some crazy stuff all the time, and both got suspended at St. Roberts. Um, and so the same thing. Yeah, yeah, we were both <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely didn't. I'm telling you. What we were, were you suspended for? Just being Getting the old fingy in the bingy. <laughs> <laughs> That is cause for suspension. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, no fingies in the bings at St. Roberts, but uh, it was it was a lot of. It was just, oh. I, I, we messed with the teacher a lot and did some stuff. And like we, kid we, stuff. We, yeah, Stupid but we did stuff. parodies. There was, there was a janitor there, this guy Tom, and he, he was, <laughs> and and we used to make parody songs about him, and we would, and we would be like, get mopping in the bedroom, and like, and we like released it, and and, and they would be like, why are you bothering Tom the janitor, and like, <laughs> and, and we just kept doing it. So we like. <laughs> is this your public <laughs> apology to Tom? All that stuff, and then I remember, <laughs> I, guys, I, Tom is a sensitive janitor. Yeah, he, he really was. I got I got suspended twice in that school, and, and the other, and Brian. Brian Brian Cashier threw a piece of clay up, and, it, and he and I don't know why it was like it was total chaos in, the, in that room, and he threw it up, and and it stuck on the oh. ceiling, and it was there for the whole entire year. And it was like, and we and he would look at me, we'd be in the middle of class, and he'd go, hey, hey. point up, yeah, <laughs> all right, and all these things would happen, like, and we would just we'd laugh. Ugh. I remember the one time we we were cracking up. I don't know what we were doing, but I, there was like a fart or something happened, right, and then. So no more farts. No. Oh yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> so uh, anyway, this nun um, was what the hell was her name? I can't remember. Sister Mary something. It was yeah. something like that. No, it was in a, it was in the library, and we and Brian Cash and I were cracking up. I don't remember what it was. School and, libraries were incredible. And we were. It, it was sure. like the uncontrollable laughter to where you start crying yeah. and you can't control it. And so. Sister, or I can't remember who it was. Clara, Sister Clara, that's okay. who it was. Sister Clara, and she comes up to Brian and she goes, "I don't know what you're laughing, but but you need to stop." And Brian looks at her, and goes, shh, 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 right in her face, <laughs> and like just, shh, 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 and like trying to make her just because every time she was saying to him, like it would go more and more. So anyway, uh, Brian wound up going to a different high school. I went to a different high school, but we we kept in touch. And and then fast forward to uh, I'm out in California, got my job at WWE. And I and I'd seen him at a bar a couple of times when I visited in New York, but I go back to, and I start working at uh, WWE, 
And this is in like August of 2001. And we write a, a he's like, hey, I just, I'm, I'm at my job over, you know, I'm working at, um, uh, at World Trade Center, at Canter Fitzgerald. Nice. And, um, and you know, if you, I'd, love to, I'd love to see you. We should, we should get together. I'm like, yeah, let's, let's get together. This was like the end of August. I'm like, let's get together like the next couple weeks. Yeah. Fast forward, I get canned from WWE, yeah. go back to California. A couple weeks later, 9-11 happens. Oh. Brian was in the 103rd Tower. Holy shit. I'm hoping that it, he just went instantly, you know. Right. So, um, and then it's just it's rough. And when I was working, when I met when I met Brett, but Brett and I were working. When I met Riley, we were working at California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah, CPK. Yeah, and um, we uh, and I it was it was a Tuesday. It was and all the stuff was kind of was Today. happening. We were yeah we were you know it was you know what it was the next day. It was the next day because I didn't know he had he, he had gone until the next day because I Tuesday uh. I was home. Wednesday, we were working, and then I'm walking through the alley, and I get a phone call from my dad, and who's balling. The harbinger. Yeah, he, he has been the last, you know, last month. And so then, boom, I hear the thing drop in the alley. Yeah. You can't control yourself. And then yeah. I get back in, and, you know, then you just, it, it hits you. So every year, it's been tough. So then yeah. this year, this, so this morning, I wake up. And I do a search to, I'm going to post a picture up. And the first thing comes up, my brother, 10, year, uh, like 10 years ago, did this song. Um, we don't have to play this song now. I'm going to play it at the end. But um, he, he, play, he, uh, he did this song for Brian. Mm -hmm. And he said, he's, when we used to, when we were younger, Brian and I, we wanted to do movies and stuff too. And we liked Terminator. And we, and we came up with kind of this theme on the piano. Yeah. And Kevin always remembered it, my brother Kevin. And he... Ten years ago, made this tribute to Brian. Oh, that's cool. And and did he know Brian well? Yeah, Brian. We we used to like do wrestling around the house and stuff too. Right, and my brothers would, would play, and and my brother at the time, Kevin, like you could smash him in the face with a pillow as hard as you could. And he'd be like, come on, and we used to be like, <laughs> and he'd fall over things. But like, he's not getting hurt. Kevin Painless. We we're calling him Kevin Painless, right? So um, he they they had that kind of relationship, and and Kevin says even in the video that I'll show at the end of the show that um he that Brian almost inspired him a lot to do a lot of his That's musical cool. stuff because we came up with this riff and then Kevin took it on an improv. Now this, you know, the sound was what it was. He was just sitting in his living room and, and my brother was in his living room just playing the song. But right. so I, you know, couple that this morning and I kept leading up to it. I've been having a it's been a rough week and poor Ryan it's Tuesday. That's the how yeah, bad no. the week's well, been. Yeah. Again, poor Ryan Satin yeah. yesterday come the guy comes in and has a very uh I'm in my office, just had a been having a rough couple months. Sure. And he walks in, he asked me something very, very nicely. Very, <laughs> I mean, it was, it was, he just had a conversation that he had every frustration that I possibly could imagine pops up and I'm like, fuck it. Yeah. And I just, I kind of blew up, not necessarily on him, but in general in the office and just, He'd been having a bad day, yeah. so um, and I was just, uh, you know, you got to try to figure out how to, deal with this shit because uh -huh. i think what it's uh, sensitivity in general in this industry has been bothering me mm -hmm. like yesterday so beardo what was that wonderful intellectual thing that that we you played for roxy when the guy got mad what was it was a very intellectual <laughs> yeah that was it uh, and so we play we're playing that yesterday offensive to my disease. so some guy tweets out and he goes you know i really enjoyed the show but Roxy's got a medical condition, and the fact that you keep playing that, it's a bit mean, huh? And I just wrote back, for fuck's sake. Yeah. And I'm like, what What are we doing on this show? If you don't get it, people, with, why aren't you talking about movies? It, turn, oh, there's so many different things on this network. Yeah. So many different channels. <laughs> get the so... fuck out of here. If that, and you don't understand what we're doing here. If you don't understand that from the story she just told... And there were still talk movies sometimes. Yeah. It's not we, all the time. Yesterday we talked about movies for like an hour. Yeah. I would so, like to say, though, that um, I'm really appreciative because the guys in the booth all um, apologized to me and mm. told me how brave I was. So <laughs> What did you guys say, Beardo? You're so brave. Thank you're just you. so brave to deal with us. Yeah. I, I appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Yeah. I, you're so brave. Be I, I am very brave. That was Beardos. And, and so I just brave. used my braveness, yeah. which is not, not the same as brevity. Do you, do you get nauseous when you hear that? Uh, I, 
honestly, the same that anybody else in here does. It's, yeah. I, I don't know if I have a medical condition, uh, but I do have a hard time pooping, as we've talked about on the show. Coffee. Coffee. Uh, so I realize. No, you got it. Yeah. It's, it's correct. I will, psyllium husk will change case, your life. Yeah. In case it's, it's not clear, husk. psyllium husk? Yeah, it's called oh. well, Metamucil Metamucil has psyllium husk, but I okay. get straight psyllium husk because okay. it doesn't have all the extra chemicals yeah. um, in it. Change my life. In oh. case it's not clear, though, yeah. I am not, I would like to state for the record, I'm not offended by the, the fart noises. Right. It does not affect my You wouldn't be able to be on the show if you were. So brave. So brave. But I am brave. Yes. And that's true. All right. very brave. So listen. I'll take that one. So listen. Um. Um, would you drink? You said you never had coffee a day in your life. I've never had a sip. What? What is that about? Because I'm so. I'll tell you yeah, why. What is that? What is that? About? I mean, come on. Oh, what's the deal with she that? She drank. She's hell? giving blowjobs. She's doing this and that, but no coffee. I mean, come on. Uh, why no coffee? Uh, it just like kind of happened. Uh, you you know when you haven't. It's like the people who've never yeah. tried a cigarette until you have one. You don't. You yeah. never have a bunch, so I never tried it. Coffee's a little, supposed to be better, a lot better for you than cigarettes. Huh? I, I always used to hate the people that would say, "Uh, yeah, I tried alcohol once. I didn't really like the taste." And I was like, "So you tried it, right. but have you been drunk? Right. Yeah, because that's the best." Yeah. <laughs> Not for everybody though, because that's the the problem is that you get some people. We were talking when we were talking about. It, I think we talked about it in the show. I get lost in what we talked about, and what we didn't. What kind of drunk people are happy drunk? Yeah. Sure. Some people you're just like, you know what? If you don't think you can handle it. Put that down. No, I get it. It's the pe- like. Don't shame me for liking right, to drink, right? Or being like, well, I don't drink, right? Congratulations. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you just not drink then? You don't have to announce that you yes. don't drink. Then just it's, don't have a it's drink. It's the vegan. It's the vegan thing. Yeah. It's like drinking coffee. You don't have to announce it to everybody. You don't drink coffee. You never had. It, but just, just Is he fucking? With that. <laughs> uh, uh, but would you try it on this show? Fuck off. Or do you not want to try it? I think that I'll just become a coffee drinker. Oh, and you don't want to do that? That could help. That's fine. Yeah, that I might help. doubt it. Like one try, I doubt you'll become a... It's, it's, well, because then I've had a sip of coffee, so what's the point of not having a sip of coffee every day? Right. So you might not want to do it. Well, I don't know. What's your caffeine intake? Tea. Tea. Yeah. But I do a lot of tea. I drink a lot of tea, too. Yeah. Tea but tastes a lot. Coffee does not taste... Good. Even you know the funny you... thing is, I never drank coffee. My mom would get it all the time when, when I was younger. I never want, never thought about it. When I started working at Alcon Entertainment in like 2004, I had my first like real cup of coffee. And then I was just like, oh, this is – it's because I also never wanted to have an office job. And I was working in the office job. This is great. I had this wonderful mug that I loved so much. It was a big – I don't. It was a like custom made. No one. You can't find. It. I tried to find the thing on Google, or eBay, and it was this big ass mug with with Grumpy on it, right? And it would it could pour like three fucking cups of coffee in them. That's right. And I would. That one's against ev- my. Uh, I had that thing. Too. I had the thing through the, my time at Bachelor. One day, I'd take it in my car like an idiot because I don't take care of things. Put it in the back of my seat. Perfect. Open it up. It jumps out the fucking. Thing smashes all over the place, mm-hmm. and I felt like someone just pissed I, on my cat. I feel cat. like you're gonna have, have six of these at your doorstep tomorrow. Like, <laughs> is that not the easiest mug in the world to find? No, it is not. It is not. I looked, and it, it was custom made. No, it wasn't that. It was no, it wasn't that. Oh. You can look, but I'm telling you, it was. It, was it like the shape of his body? Was just the put mug? grumpy, put grumpy coffee mug. If you guys find it, you know, oh, I'll get, I'll give somebody a hundred dollars if they find it. Wow. Wow. If someone finds it, a hundred dollars. It is that not is a valuable there. mug. I'm telling you, it, it, like is, it, is, it was custom made. They made the thing. Can I tell a quick story about uh, my kids' school uniforms? Mm-hmm. Sure. Man, I cannot find these things. If somebody could send me, <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. That's what you're doing now. Put it on your Amazon wish list. list. Yeah. Toilet paper. Can you guys find this stuff? I don't know. If you find Man. any, send them. I mean, me. where is the toilet paper? But you've been in a shit mood too, huh? Or not shit mood, different mood. I'm in a different mood. What's I'm, going I'm on? I'm like with a skeleton. So, um, my my grandfather's been in the hospital, and I've been staying there every okay. night. So it's just like your grandfather's in LA. Yeah. Oh, okay. My grandparents, my mom's parents. So like, I feel an added pressure to take care of them, obviously. Um, and so I'm I'm just like living at a hospital, which is. Exhausting. Yeah. So I'm going there, sleeping there, waking up, going to work, going Are you there, sleeping, sleeping in a there. chair. I'm sleeping in the. It's a very nice hospital. So uh, they. You stop it, you idiots! It's not up there. They Get roll. Rid of it. They roll a, <laughs> a tiny cot in for me, but it's like. Uh. I would rather be sleeping in a chair. If you're on the eighth floor there, they give you these couches, but we're on the fifth floor. I tried. Bastards. Fucking bastards. So Um, so so you're not not getting a lot of sleep. I'm just exhausted. And so like I get in this like silly kind of mood. It's weird. And people are like, what's wrong with you today? And I'm like, oh, uh, my grandfather's sick. And they're like, so (laughs) don't like act like that. Um, That's my weird mood. But you've just been in a strange mood. How has it been affecting you? 
Oh God, it's like uh, everything, you know. Um, and because you, you also work weird hours too, and work in a bunch really of different weird games, hours, yeah. and then you stop like giving a shit about anything else. Not giving a shit, but like you, when that's your world, and then uh, you go into work, and other people are complaining about X, Y, Z. Christian, I'm sure you can relate to this oh. recently, and you're just like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, like. <laughs> I don't know I, like shut the fuck up. Yeah, I think that that's that's the, you. That's what you're trying to. That's what you feel. Yeah, but, but again, it's, but it's it, not true. Everybody has their own thing. Th- that's yeah. what it is, and that's why I felt so bad yesterday because, like, right. you know, you just you explode, and then you go up. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Yeah, hundred um, percent. Yeah, and it's like this emotional ball of, of of shit, and it's just like again, the timing has been horrendous. You know, Schnapp going, and then yeah. my brother going, and then the anniversary of 11. It stinks, but it's also the part of life. You know, you get older and you got to deal with it, but like. I've been having, I mean, and I've mentioned on our first show back, um, the support has been incredible, mm-hmm. and people, the fans have been great, and friends have been great, and family's been great. Um, and I and I thought that as I was going through this, like, it, I've been better. And then today, is just, today was rough. Yeah, it's, today a, was rough. it's not a linear path. No, it's not. Uh, and anybody who's lost somebody close to them knows that. It's like, so I'll have months sometimes, I'm like, fucking fine. Right. And then all of a sudden... Just, not, it just hit you. Not fun. Mm-hmm. It just hit you. But um, but something that didn't help the mood at all was seeing Predator last night. Oh. Hey oh. Yeah. So we saw. Uh, is we, there an embargo on this? No. 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 They lifted it last night. And they <laughs> should have kept it until after it came out. <laughs> Woof. Wow. It stinks. Uh, Were you both stinks. at the screening? Yeah. yeah. It stinks. There um, was some. There I don't want to. Don't spoil it though okay. because the boys haven't seen it and they want to okay. go see it. So there were some parts it. that were okay. And then most of the parts that weren't. Yeah. It was kind of confusing at times, too. It was very confusing. <laughs> and the thing is, the movie starts out The movie starts out seven minutes into this movie, and I'm like, what are people talking about? This is awesome. The Alan Silvestri score blazes in, and I'm like, oh, they're going back to basics. That's what I was... People like... I, when I tweeted out last night, I was like, Shane Black broke my heart with a thumbs down, right? And they're like, well, what'd you expect? I expected a resurgence because yeah. it's been done so poorly. And I, I, look... First Shane one, Black. First one, right. First one's a classic. Yes. First one is a classic action film. Okay. Second one is enjoyable for what I, it is. I love the it's second. It's one. enjoyable. Yeah. They, but and they both stay in the basic of <clears throat> it's a horror movie. The predator is just hunting people hunting. down. First time's in the jungle. Second time's Los Angeles. But it's the same premise, right? Mm-hmm. Predators. I know some people love it. I didn't like it as much. But this, it, it is, it is diehard compared to this movie. Oh, um, and I, uh, and so <laughs> like Alien and Predator, that that's ADP, that's where I think yeah. that's where it's. I like the simple story. It's the it's just like take your, take yourself seriously because that's what the first two did. Yeah, and really hone in the chemistry. The acting is fine. I Some thought. of it. Oh, I, uh, Olivia Munn was miscast completely. Holy yeah, she wasn't good. It should have been she an Emily good. Blunt type. Yeah. Olivia Munn, and it's not that I don't even think she's good because uh, does anybody watch Newsroom? Did anybody see watch? I heard she was good oh, in yeah. that, she and, was, and she was good in Magic Mike. She was really good in Newsroom, so I know she can carry. But God, her facial expressions yeah. were so weird in this movie. All she did was yeah, it, it, and it, that's got to be a, a and she's the whole story of this movie because of the uh, sexual assault guy. Or yes, whatever. Yeah. well, yeah, and that's where and, and, and there's a couple so of jokes strange. in there still that are left in there. Then after this comes out, they felt dirty. Uh, um, there was that a, one, that one, about, yeah, the one by the door. Yeah, like when she's walking out of the, the. I don't want to say what it is, but like you know, so I mean, the, Dan I, Merle tweeted out something, and the, and the and the tweet upset me in the sense of like, I, this sounds so confusing. It was like it's being in a stroke like with this with this and yeah. that it's all over the I place kind of thing. Tweet, yeah. it was all over the place and you know me I mean we are I, I live for the Predator I love yeah. the first one and I really like the second one I love that franchise and so when they they said they were bringing this back and Shane Black was doing it I was like awesome go right. back to the jungle let's yeah. do this Shane Black was sick. involved in the first I, one and he was in the first I one I know I didn't even think it looked that great no and that's weird too like if you're not going to tell a good story give me something great to look at I did think that I wasn't bored I wasn't look, sitting there being like no, when is this bored. over I wasn't yeah. bored it just wasn't there was nothing that compelling uh and yeah i just i agree with you uh, i think that's the same thing i was watching it hoping because the first 7 minutes were waiting. great and the end minus a couple things but at the end when they start kind of getting towards the end of it i'm like well where was this was the movie they yeah. should have done this and then just played it out because the team that they set up i was like okay it's kind of, they're force feeding you care about these people but I'm like you didn't really necessarily have to do that because they all have it the chemistry of the team was great I agree and I think that if they if they did what that's what was done so well when McTiernan did it yeah. in 87 was he set up these characters so with Blaine and Mac and you know Dutch, Dutch, yeah. Dutch they, he, and uh, 
Billy. Like yeah. you, you remember all of them because I can tell you one of the characters' names from last night. And they all no. had they had like a singular character in one word, basically. Yeah. In in the original you Predator, knew Tracker, or yeah. you know, you, you knew all those guys. They set it up so well yeah. that you would be these elite team, and that's what I thought they were doing at first. And it's just. It was just it was just a mess, and it was they went over the top with sci-fi, and it was it was they try it should have been simple, and it was they tried to overdo it. With, the writing was bad. I don't care about how much studio interference too, because there's only so much you can blame on studio interference, because there's some basis of what he came up with, and it just didn't work. It's not like Iron Man three was different. I say it all the time. I think Iron Man three is a very good movie. It's just a very bad MCU movie. Yeah, but it's a very good movie. This is not a good movie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I I almost think like I wish it was worse, uh, or obviously I wish it was better. But I wish it was worse, like because I like things that are awful. Yeah, it wasn't. It was just so. I know what you mean, though. Meh. I know what you mean. Because then yeah, at yeah. least you swung for the fences. This didn't. Sw- no. This didn't even swing hard enough. Yeah, it's like it's. But I agree with Roxy saying that too. I was the whole time going, "Oh my God, this is brutal. When is it going to end?" It was just kind of like. What what's going on? What, yeah, what's happening? There's here? Like a, I mean, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody. When they said there's a character death, you would assume there would be. Sure. Uh, and it is a brutal movie. I thought the stuff, the predators by themselves, one of them looked really cool. The other one was over CGI, but they were brutal. And when they Which were, one brutal, did you like? I liked the first Predator. Huh. Um, but anyway, so like the whole the whole point um, of there, there's a character death, and it's done so fast. You're like, wait. That person died. Well, I you literally told me. When I told we you afterwards. Out. Yeah, you're like, oh, I didn't realize that person died. I didn't even know. Yeah, and, and it's a pretty important person. You're like, what? How, that was shot terribly. And it's just, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a mess. I did like, um, without spoilers, the bus scenes. Like you were talking about the team. I thought yeah. that there were there was chemistry there. That, yeah, that's and what some, I meant. It was that was still in K. Brown. Was he good? He was very good. He, he was good. He, he, again, I I didn't like his character as much too. I thought. Okay. I mean, I thought they oh. could have more with him. I would have rather him been part of the team. You know, my biggest problem with the movie, probably actually though, which is so strange for me to say, because you guys have been listening to me the show uh, for weeks now, so you probably know, they swore too much. <laughs> there was way too many swears. Like it was like fucking out of fucking doing the fucking yeah. fucking thing, and it was just so like uncomfortable. It wasn't impactful. It was, because yeah. why are you guys swear? It was so fratty. Yeah. And it was like what? These are gr- all all of you. It wasn't one character and a character choice. Every single one of you, the men, the women, the kids, the kids yeah. all of you swear that much. Every single person. It, that was so weird yeah. to me. Mm. So anyway, the, I was very disappointed with the movie. I wanted it to be good. I was excited that it could like kind of rejuvenate the the franchise, and I thought it had a chance to go back to basics because we're in a time of nostalgia working a lot. Whether it's you know, I mean, it you played off nostalgia, yeah. uh, as did Stranger Things. There are a lot of the, a lot of these shows mm-hmm. and movies that are playing off nostalgia right now that I thought that this could have worked to do that and you could have went simple. Was it a, was it a period piece or did it take place today? No, it takes place now. Okay. And it's just it's 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 it fits more into Alien vs Predator than it does Predator. Oh, okay. I mean and not not, not no, no, no yeah no, I, I mean as far as the yeah I mean as far as the feel and the tone and that yeah, kind okay. of stuff. Would you yeah, say that it. it's worth seeing? Paying, 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 spending paying eighteen money dollars at a nah. LA theater? No, it's if if you can catch it like on streaming or when it comes out, yeah. But I, I wouldn't I wouldn't spend money on it. It's it's not it's it you know you can there will be people like like Alex uh, Alex who are uh, PA and uh, and Frank from Rundown saw it and they loved it. They had fun with it. Okay, but they're they, also not they loved it. They loved it. They, wow. they, they're like oh, I had so much fun with it. And I, they were both never seen the first Predator. Oh. They had no idea. The you girl seen that Alex's I talked face to who loved it. That. What's that? You should have seen Alex's face when you said that. Did you not uh, love it? Yeah, like, here. Get out. The girl I talked to who had never seen Predator loved it too. I, I liked it. Okay. <laughs> there was <laughs> You came you were skipping around plans. after that movie like you just saw Inception. Oh, because it. I was surprised at how much hate you guys were giving it. And I thought it was fine. All right. I liked I, it. Not seeing any of the others. All right, well, let me ask you this question. Interesting. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's just a better person. Yeah, he might be. No, he's a nice kid. I um, liked... Um, I just, on the Makuga scale. I like, like Trevante. You know, did, I thought he did a good job. Trev- that, the Nebraska yes. guy. Well, I thought, that I thought did, the whole team was cool. I thought Thomas Jane was good. I thought I, th- yeah. they, I thought they were all good. Keegan-Michael Key. Yes, I thought they were all... It was it just they weren't developed the same yeah. way. Like they, It was amazing how well McTunin developed that crew in like 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. 20 minutes up top because when they start getting picked off in that original movie yep. you feel it well, when they storm that original compound in the first yes. one is when you figure out who everybody is yes and yeah. then and when and we didn't when really have that 
because mm. Jesse Ventura goes so fast in that yeah. movie, but you remember him. Yeah. Like and like some of these guys stick around for so long. I don't remember any of them really. It's mm-hmm. like, oh yeah, that guy did that, and that he kind of had that shtick. But anyway, all right, moving on. Um, we also got some news we got to talk about. I guess not a lot of it, but what do you got, Riley? Anything? Uh, yeah, there's not a lot Jack of news, piss. but uh, <laughs> yeah, Jack and piss. Uh, <laughs> one thing I thought was interesting. In regards to uh, Avengers 4, Mark Ruffalo did an interview, and he said they still haven't filmed the ending for Avengers 4. Okay. And that they're all going to come together now in the next years, or not in the next few months. Is it to avoid leaks? Avoid Probably. leaks. Yeah. Nobody knows what, it's, what the ending is. They all did the shooting and the reshoots and everything. They're doing press for Avengers 4. And then they're going to come back and film the ending. Cool. I mean, I think that's smart. It's right. smart. It's really yeah. smart because the, some of them had loose lips. and uh, He did. Yeah. He, well, he had loose uh, cell phone skills. Well, no, no, no. When that one interview where he, yeah, s- he says yeah. everybody dies. dies. I remember. <laughs> oh, and Don Cheadle. Bring that up Cheadle. Yeah. 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 I remember that. Cheadle looks yeah. like and what about he, goes, him? he just he goes, goes ahead for cheese. Yeah, bring up Mark Ruffalo. I remember that. Spoil, spoils uh, Avengers. How about him streaming? Bring up Skip video. How about him streaming the first 15 minutes of the movie to his phone? When he, oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Thor Ragnarok. It's, it's like right, yeah. it's yeah. Like right Thor, towards yeah. the that end. That was Ragnarok, yeah. It's Rushing right only. I don't know if you guys saw this. So He's hysterical. Yeah, this yeah. was amazing. It was great. So Ruffalo, when he was doing press for the first Avengers, he was sitting there with Don Cheadle. Where are you going? Are you trying to find the time code? It's fine. But just, it's, it's, right to, I can t- it's right towards the end. I can't right. even believe Keep that this didn't, a wasn't a bigger thing. Can you put on headphones and listen to it? I don't know. It's true. In Marvel, it, it doesn't end that well. Somebody yeah, yeah. always bites or gets really badly Wait hurt. till you see this next yeah, one. Yeah. Everybody dies. Do, 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 do. Not everybody. No. Go back to that one more time. <laughs> Go back one more time. No, if you look at what he says. Wow. No, no, right there. You're right. You're there. Part. So he, has, he says, can't. he goes can almost. He goes no. almost everyone dies. Imagine. Watch, <laughs> watch, little, watch, little watch. I wouldn't say too much, but you can say as much as you I mean, hey, it's your Let career. me just say this. Like every other Marvel movie, it doesn't end well for the superheroes. Almost. Watch. That's true. In Marvel, it, it doesn't end that well. Somebody always bites or gets really badly hurt. Wait till you see this next one. Ha- everybody half. dies. Do-do. Do. <laughs> <laughs> he says half. He goes, he goes, he's about to say half. He goes yeah. half of everybody, and then he says okay, everybody yeah. dies. Can so. we rewind that part? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. So, yeah. So. Is there anybody in Infinity War you, you get to meet? Look, nah, he's, so you can get rid of it. I think he's he's Cheadle is legit that. upset. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think if I were Cheadle, I would be too. do I think they kind of played it off a little they bit. They did play it off. They, it off. they did play it off, but I mean, it was like legit, like, because he says, he goes to say half, but anyway. Do you ever, is, like, when you were a kid, we were talking about this, you ever, like, hit your brother and he fell down the stairs and he starts bawling and you're like, do, 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 don't, don't right. be fine, yeah, yeah, don't yeah, be yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. That's basically what just happened of course. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've so, never seen that before. Yeah, yeah. That, that I saw, it was been floating around a lot, but it's funny yeah. that him and Tom Holland are, like, the worst. Uh, they can't, they can't they stop. They can't help it. I think that Ruffalo gets a kick out of doing it, too. Yeah, <laughs> He really does. Um, but he yeah. should just start planting some spo- like some fake seeds. Like, just, yeah. They should start well, feeding him. That's what J.J. Abrams does. J.J. Abrams does that shit all the time. He, he loves J.J. Abrams loves messing with the fans. We need some like a sodium pentothal sketch where they get a couple of the Marvel MCU people in the thing. And like we've loaded you with sodium pentothal. It's time for you to tell us how. Is that the true Marvel serum? Fans. Yeah, it's what they always use in like True Lies in any right. movie. They're like, I gave you sodium yeah, pentothal. Right. Uh, Riley, what else is going on? Come on watch uh, a spy movie. I, I you know, guessed it. Big piece of news that uh, wasn't discussed here. I sure. uh, want your take. Uh, getting rid of or postponing the popular film Oscar. Oh, that's smart. There's yeah. too much of a backlash. Yeah, there was you huge mean the thing that they never should have announced in the first place? They, they should because what they did that that is that is not reading your audience correct. And that is also Oh shit. That is that, that, because what people are asking and, and I think Chadwick Boseman, Boseman said it best as Tom would say, Chazik Bosman. Can we make sure we pull that sound clip eventually? Chazik um, Bosman. Chazik Bosman. That was during your match. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, he said it best when it was Black Panther doesn't deserve to be nominated for the popular film. It deserves to be nominated for overall film. Yes. Because that's what people that love these genre films are asking for. They're not asking to be nominated in some a separate category. Separate category that is like, oh, here's a bonus prize. Which, right. by not- the way, the criteria for are what? Yeah, right. Like, yeah. W- what, what makes something it, fucking it, it, popular? It was stupid. They it already won in money. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't well thought out, and it was and it was a huge backlash, and it, they were smart to get rid of it because it would have it would have really brought down. But what they're gonna put themselves in a position here? They better bet your ass that something's gonna get nominated in yeah. the genre. But also too, it undercuts all of the yeah. non-popular movies, right? Where it's like, well, nobody watched the Phantom Thread, but it was good. 
right? I hated Something that like that. Movie. Yeah, so did I. But you're, it's just like okay, so all these movie. movies are good. good. All these movies are popular. popular. Yeah. We can't ever put them together because you know it's like uh, it's it's right. silly. Well, it is silly. Man. Uh, so, but I I don't know. We're gonna see what's gonna happen now too. Is I I does anybody think that they should have kept this stupid category? No, no. kept it. Never should have been. What the fuck was it doing? Cops are usually like to take the opposite. <laughs> I was stance. literally right by the mic. What were you gonna say? I'm sorry. Go ahead. I said you like to take the opposite stance. Do you think they should have kept the? Uh, no, no. Okay. I, I I'm glad that they didn't keep it. But okay. now knowing full well what's going to happen, like, do you guys think Black Panther is going to get nominated? And do you think it deserves to be nominated? Because I I don't think it deserves to be nominated. Um, I don't think it will, and I don't think it should. Agree. They they started the campaign. Marvel. It's, yeah. it's a good it's movie. Good. It's yeah. really it's good. A good I, movie. I, I, I think it's see. a great movie. I need but to see it's the top three for me. The answer to the Hello? question is I don't know. We cannot right. talk about this movie. What we can stop. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta move on to a different movie. <laughs> You're not Look wrong. Look around the room. You're not Stop wrong. talking about this movie. So brave. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, You're right. It's a solid point. 9 You're 11 right. was my wife. It was our Rox, first. Roxy, you got day. any more basement stories? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right. Should we <laughs> switch gears to blowjobs again? Yeah, let's get that. Uh, <laughs> moving on. Moving <laughs> on. All right. Anything, <laughs> anything else happening in the world of sports? Uh, <laughs> Did you, uh, Sam Darnold's the greatest quarterback of all time. Yeah, did you guys see you that got? guy from Wizards of Waverly Place? What did you just say? The guy from Wizards of Waverly Place. Yeah, yeah he brought, brought a gun to an airport. Gun to LAX what? On, what accident? Mm. on accident. On accident. On accident. Yeah. Yeah. How do you bring a gun to the airport by accident? Loaded. He's great in the show, though. Loaded gun. What is? Who is he? Bring up his picture. I don't even He's know. He's been in a couple. He's a wizard. The, the yeah, well, he should have made the gun disappear. Yeah. Yeah. Who is this person? Accidental and gun. Apparently, I, I, I had a friend who was right behind him in security. Apparently, he was like smiling the entire time and was so stoked about it. Wow. Why? Because he's going to get the press? press? I have no idea. I've got to have his guns. Right. So, his, what, he and his he publicist are sitting now. around. His a publicist is like his best friend. Right. They're like, hey, you know what? No, no one's talking about the show. Bring a gun to the airport. Yeah. You haven't had a gun in like a long yeah. time. I take responsibility with the situation at LAX. You better, you dope. That, yeah. so, that show isn't on anymore. Yeah. No. No. He says, no. "He says here, I take responsibility for the situation at LAX today." I un- oh, did you read the whole thing? <laughs> I was almost ready to do. Oh, that. I'm sorry. I'm I was sorry. like reading through it. I'm go ahead. Go ahead. No, and then he says, "I unintentionally brought my legally owned gun, which is registered in my name, to the airport. I'm so sorry." Yada yada yada. I tweeted right. that I unintentionally bring my legally owned right. weed to the airport all of the time. <laughs> yeah, I barely so remember I my it. toothbrush, but this guy <laughs> accidentally brought yeah. a gun. You can't bring weed on the plane, huh? I do. You can do it. No, <laughs> no, but they don't. They don't sniff it out. I uh, usually bring my pen. I want to do that. Yeah, I you always. I always bring, bring my pen. Canada. Yeah, I'll. I'll just say that. Yeah. yeah. I got sniffed out. Did you? Yeah. You stink. My parents yeah. got pulled but this right is, off the you know, plane. This is before nine yeah. eleven. Even right. so, I right, listen. Is... Um, what's next? <coughs> before nine eleven. Wow. Coughing? No, it's yeah. It's you were weird. not hiding that well. What's next? Oh, what's next? Movie news. news? That's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's really. Uh, I mean, that's all you got. Done? Hey, Conjuring uh, Three. They're it's still in development. Oh, yeah, yeah we talked about, about that yesterday. Good story. Yeah. Uh, a lot uh, of action. All right. Well, there. I'm, uh, new release date. Once it when so when you, we talked about that yesterday, didn't we? The new release date. Um, they just had a new story. Sorry, I saw this on Twitter. Uh, it, show me what the new release date is. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, no, it's uh, there's no release date. They just, just said it's on. Release date. Yeah. Hold on. Let me find it. It was on coming soon. And uh, it didn't say the Hayes brothers were writing it either. Did not yeah. I don't know if that was. Oh. Known didn't it say starting to film They're, production in 2019? I didn't see a release date. Yeah. yeah there's no, no, no. They they say it's on. The producer I read this. The producer yeah. said it's on track right now. There is a, the new script being worked on to start filming oh, next year. Twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. To release for 2020. Got it. I don't okay. think it's been officially dated yet. Oh, I see. All right. Well, there you go. Well, I'm excited to see that. And, and, and after the nun, why, why wouldn't you? Oh, speaking of the nun. Uh, oh, speaking oh, of the yeah, nun. Yeah, that's none of your business. Uh, oh, speaking in the speak, bingy. Speaking <laughs> in the bings. So the nun, what we're going to do here at the end of the show today, well, the, after the show is off the air, myself... Um, and Josh McCuga and whoever else wants to come from the crew, we're going to go over to the movies over here, and we're going to go see The Nun, and we're going to mic McCuga up, and we're going to see if we can get some uh, some bits, see what we can do. Some, some bits. Some sound bites. Some hot bits. Some hot Are you excited bits. at all? No. Get a hot take. Are yeah. you nervous? Yeah. What's some, of, what's some of the noises cool. we might hear, Beardo? Is there anything in there we might hear, do you think, today? No? <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> I, I, well, <laughs> you know what? Wait, wait, what? Do me that one again. What were you doing? 
<laughs> there, it's like a long thing going on. I'm like, I got I got I got You know who's like 100 percent the actual loser in this situation? Uh, the fans watching the, the theater. People that Wait, so yeah, that, the, your yeah. wife, who is gonna have to night all terrors. night. Yeah. 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 Does she have the? <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should have to clear this with her. Like yeah. somebody should call her. Did you ever watch it? Do you ever have you ever watched a horror movie with her? No, no. She hates him just as much as I do. She but does. No, wait, yeah. I was gonna say this. A, a Quiet Place. Didn't you? You weren't that scared. Uh, it's not a horror no, movie. I liked A Quiet Place. Yeah. I and you saw it with. She anyway. loved. A, she loved A Quiet Place. But yeah. I don't think A Quiet Place was scary. I don't think it's. Thought it was an it's amazing a sci-fi story. Thriller more yeah. Than anything. The only I scary. It was scary. The only scary part of that movie is when they're in the woods and they see that weird old couple. Yeah. And then the guy screams and the monsters eat him. Yeah. There's there, there's some there's some like scary that. there's some scary things like that happen in it, but it's I wouldn't call that like a horror film. Like a like an overall. I would. That's a horror movie. But, I mean, that's so, the kind of stuff that scares me get, way more. I get what you're saying. It's a horror movie. Yes. It's a definite horror movie but what do you it, know? it plays it's not with much. I know well is it like si- I know is signs a horror movie no. See, no. I, would call, I, I agree I would that's, say that's a horror movie I would, see not. I think it's Sci-fi. not and I think that signs I think that Quiet Place is a better version of, of signs sorry I Coster I agree um, wait what I think that I think the Quiet Place is a better version of Science. Is, like like is it the jump oh, scare like that better. bugs? Is it? I, I like mean, Science, the, but I just think Quiet same. Place is better. It's it's the darkness. It's the jump scares. It's the, like the supernatural ghost Do you think BS. That could be nominated? It's the scary stuff in the background. It's the scary people and their faces yeah. and their. Yeah, none of that other stuff. Like, I hate getting jump scared. I mean, I like, hate I can't go to a children's haunted house. Me neither. Like, I just don't like people jumping out or touching right. me. But, like, I haven't been legitimately scared by a movie in a long time because yeah. it just is so – that they go to the hokey place so much. Conjuring yeah, gave me those, the, the chills for me sure. Too. There were a couple creepy things in It, but, again, I, it, I found more to be like a like – a, Nostalgia throwback to like Stand by Me and Goonies, so with some scary shit going on in the background. Um, Stand right. by Me. Well, and speaking is of scary shit, uh, Joey just came in here and said that the VR uh, Exorcist thing with uh, Makuka is coming out tomorrow. Oh, it's coming out tomorrow. Oh. That tomorrow. was beautiful. Tomorrow. I th- there was I was, was that one the, the scaredest you've ever been yes. because it seemed like you were losing sh- it. Outside it sounded like it in the office. It couldn't work. <laughs> people and, and we had a, a couple new people here who weren't aware of this. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they were literally looking. And worried. And people yeah. think it's fake, and people don't realize. Like, yes, like no. he legit loses his mind, and it's like, it's enjoyable to watch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I laugh. He asshole. turns into a kitty cat in the I car, going to the vet. All right, when we get <laughs> now, that was awkward, but not as awkward as when we get back. We get to watch Brett. He went. We sent him out to. That's right. Solo comes out on Blu-ray, and we sent Brett. He actually interviewed Ray Park. And he interviewed Chewbacca. We have both of the interviews that we're going to watch. We'll put them up later on on the podcast channel. But we're going to go through them. We're going to talk about them. We're going to review them. After the break, it's Collider Live. Meow. Hey guys, Riley here, and let me tell you about Rule of Two. Rule of Two is a Star Wars podcast hosted by myself and Mark Fernandez. It drops on the Jedi Council podcast feed every Tuesday. You like Star Wars? Good. I like Star Wars. And you know what we do? We talk Star Wars. And not only talking Star Wars, we celebrate Star Wars. We gave the Golden Lightsabers the best in Star Wars, best picture, best opening theme, best crawl, and all that good stuff. We celebrate the games of Star Wars. We do everything in the Star Wars universe with a lot of debate and a lot of discussion thrown in the middle. So make sure you check out Rule of Two every Tuesday on the Collider Jedi Council podcast feed on iTunes and later on Collider Video Podcast Network. That's Rule of Two with Riley and Mark Fernandez every Tuesday. And may the force be with you. Hey everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still Pretty good, above 50%. You can watch it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4 p.m. Los Angeles time is when we do it. It's live, so you can participate in the live chat room. Go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, they, it's a TV show, and we still might talk about it anyway because we love movies around here. It's myself and an extra 
expert panel of guests, including John Roca, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show. And then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us. So subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. Hi there. I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games. We talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hey everyone, John Roca here, one of the hosts for Collider Sports Time. That's our new show there on the Collider Sports Network. It's our flagship show, just like Collider Movie Talk. We get on, talk about a bunch of sports issues of the day and what is burning up social media, what topics are burning up social media. That's what we do on Collider Sports Time. I'm joined by my top 10 co-host, Matt Nost. Me and him, we welcome a bevy of guests every week to talk about NFL the Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL, and the NBA, which is starting up soon. We're going to talk about that. We also get into UFC stuff, college football, all the stuff that's happening in the world of sports. We're going to cover it on Collider Sports Time. And we're going to take the time to break it all down and give our opinions and our unique takes and unfiltered thoughts on what we think about the sports news of the day. So don't forget to join us every week on Monday for the Collider Sports Time show on the Collider Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe on the Collider Sports Network on YouTube and on the Collider Sports Podcast feed. We're going to bring you all kinds of stuff. Hope to hear from you soon. Hey, everyone. I'm Scott Movie Manson. Just to let you know, if you already don't, every Friday here on Collider Video, I host a weekly film review series called Movie Review Talk. The title says it all. Every week, I'm joined by two guest critics of my choice, and they're never the same. We review the new films. We pick something that's streaming that you might not know about, but is really great. And we pick a Blu-ray for something that you might That, or we're back, I guess. It's interesting. What the hell kind of music is this? What is this, Beardo? What is this, Phantom Thread? 500 Days of Summer. It oh, should be I Phantom like Thread, because oh, that's a great that. movie. I like that. Love you know that what? I haven't so seen much. it. You know the only thing I don't what? like about five day, 500 Days of what? Summer? Did what did you, you say? You haven't seen it? I haven't seen Phantom Thread. Oh, Phantom Thread. Uh, you listen to what the fuck's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, <laughs> it's almost I like thought we just ran into yeah. the room. I thought he said the same thing. Yeah. I thought he said 500 Days of Summer. He did say 500 Days of Summer. No, I thought you said I haven't seen that. And then he said, well, he said Phantom Thread, and then I followed that up. I thought you said I'm all right, Spider. But you weren't listening. Nice pull. The only only thing I don't love about 500 Days of Summer I don't want to hear it. Is they play that penis game, and they act like they invented it. And I fucking played that game in like the sixth they grade. They don't act like they invented it. But everybody, when everybody they saw that it. movie, they were like, "If you ever play this penis but that's game, not a, that's not a problem with the movie. That's a problem yeah. with society." I don't, yeah. I don't think that's their fault. Okay, I think that that's something we don't blame with that you. on that's, them. That's amazing. You're not nitpicking. Working Jeez. on it. She's got. They you have know their, what, Mark? Yeah. Yeah. They Sorry, have. Yeah, they you know. have their problems <laughs> with anxiety, and and you you need you need credit. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, my God, speaking of, speaking of I needing credit. When I invent combo. something funny, I want the credit. Yeah. Well, we can get into that another, another I time. I know. Um, oh, yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk about going to solo. So you were you're talking about nervous. <laughs> well, you were you, you were super nervous, weren't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, for weeks. You had never done an interview before. No, you, no. You well, sent me over 237,000 texts, um, and you it, it just it never stopped. 
And you, so you went into, because you're big, you, you like Ray Park, you know, he's yeah, Darth yeah. Maul, a legend in the Star Wars universe, and then you got to... First inter- ever interview. Like. Ever. And, and this is you, your first ever interview. And, ever. So what we're going to do is because thank you God, to the, thank you so to, thank you to Disney and and for the good people over there who who allowed Brett to kind of come in and and do the interviews and Denny's, thank and you Denny's. the Blu-ray does come out <laughs> and Denny's is not involved. No, um, no. you got you got flashbacks, huh? Yeah. So weird. And what's what this? Got? Oh no! I uh, so, oh, 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 thank oh, Alex, you. thank oh, you. Got you going to see no, Predator no, now? No, no. Did you drink from it? No, oh, she I didn't drink from it. Would I would I've swallowed something and I drunk from it? I don't know. You really hate that, huh? I, I won't do it. Wow. I didn't drink any of your liquid. I, so I wait a put, swear to God. So with the person that you're seeing, no, if you, never. If you guys are at a, a date and, never, and they not and it takes your, do you want me to go get you a fresh cup? But that's wait a minute now. You just put your lips on it. You didn't sip oh, wait, anything. Correct. I'm okay with that. So you don't okay. you don't kiss? I do. So I don't understand. It's it's What's irrational. The, I've gone to every irrational. hypnotherapy. Every, oh, okay. every it's like a psycho. It's, it's a fucking psycho yeah. thing. Okay. I but apologize. Condition. I apologize. But, but I didn't sip no, anything. Okay. I promise. I'm, I'm, so great. I will right. eat a bite of a burger after somebody eats a bite of the burger. But you won't do the drink. But I can't. It because it doesn't make sense. People try to like analyze it. It makes no sense. I'm scared. Here, it's like a phobia. But here's why, and this is why I respect that because you 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 admit that it's irrational. Oh, it makes no fucking sense. Okay. And I'm so embarrassed about it that like I try so hard not to tell anybody because it's uh, well you just so told thousands of people. Um, I know. But what I, but I, you know it's the same thing with me. I hate like the the sound. I don't know why. If I'm driving and you know in a beer commercial and, and you hear the the pouring, <laughs> oh, it, it I hate it. Really, I, I hate really? that. I hate that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> really, I hate it. I don't know why. I just hate it. Um, I, li- I like it when I do it. Yeah, I just told these idiots, and now they're going to do it all day long. Yeah. So um, which is rude to the disease that you have. It's true. What's another disease that you might have? See, challenge Beardo. He doesn't. He doesn't. I just like drank the fart. Right. Oh, I thought you were trying to set me up for something on purpose. I was Jeez, like, what did no. we talk about? All right, so we have talking about drinking farts. So we got <laughs> pretty much. Ray Park. Great, great. Uh, that hashtag. Ray right Park now. and Brett Sheridan here. So we're gonna play the audio. This you guys can watch the full clips because if you're watching live right now, you can see it in the background for our television. But can you, I can I lead this in a course. little bit? Of course. Okay, so I again I got an email. <laughs> By all means, I got an email Sheridan. from Wendy. Set it up. Get yes, that please. said, you Point know, hey, are you interested in going to a solo press day? And I'm like, by myself? And <laughs> she meant the, but it still right. was by myself. Yeah. So I show up to this thing. I don't know anything. And I keep asking you questions. Doesn't tell me shit about it, right? I'm like, what do I do? What do I do? So then I show up and um, there's a full spread of food. You love that. Hospita- I'm like, no, and I just eaten a PBJ <laughs> yeah. because that's how I got to prep myself when I go out in the world. And then I sit there and we sat there for hours just, yeah. and I don't know she everybody. Knows. Everybody knows what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I was dying inside. I was oh, texting no. Christian, wasn't answered, so I started texting Beardo. I'm like, come down here and film this. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, fuck this. I'm no, like, no, get this, out man. of here. But yeah. I mean, it was, I was, I was pacing before I went into this room. He's, I was he's monotone legit, and joyless. Legit freaking out because okay. I just... Was there booze? I kind of wanted it to, to be There's funny. Never I had booze, things. That's BS. So, sometimes. Sometimes. It just depends on what it is. Yeah. Mm, yeah there was no booze, but I wanted it to I be know. funny, and I had some silly. I wasn't going to ask him regular questions. Right. And the first thing they do is they go, you get one question. Go. I'm like, what? Right. You know, they, well, that's because they didn't know you. They wanted to do yeah. the sword, you know, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, lightsaber, yeah. not sword. Good. Gotcha. Why, right, why so is this? The, the, it's called did laser sword. Did you request sword. a standing setup? I don't know. I don't know why they do. Yeah, oh, yeah, you'll, you'll see why. You'll see why at the end why they oh. do it this way. But yeah. I, I like that. I was hoping for the two camera yeah. shoot that they normally do too. But he does. He he does the job. He does it good. And here we go. This is Brett and Ray Park. <laughs> oh, here we brother. go. Uh, I got a confession. This is like my first celebrity interview ever. I'm a little nervous. I just. Uh, I guess uh, my first question <laughs> is, uh, uh, how am I doing? <laughs> 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 I, I've always I've been thinking about that since I was a kid. Like if, when you're doing lightsaber work, let's pretend like you had a real lightsaber because they exist. And every time you did training or filming, like how many times have you actually hit yourself and amputated a, a body part? Um, oh, that's a big secret. But uh, me personally, yeah, never. Never. You're just that good. No, I'm just lucky. <laughs> All right, it's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, no, no. what? He leaves, and he doesn't realize that. Do a jump and spinning kick to your face. Yes. Oh, he's gonna jump. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Ready? Stay there. Move back a bit. Look at your face. (laughs) Ready? (laughs) Watching Fred fight Darth Maul is amazing. I don't think I could get that high. (laughs) Let's try it together. All right. Ready? Look at this kick. Look at Fred. Oh, Oh, nice. I like it. 
Yeah. See, yeah, yeah. Give him that. <laughs> yeah. Good I mean, person. Get out of here. Yeah. 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 No, no one else. He liked your beard. I think he wants you to leave now. Oh, wait. So, you want to play with lightsabers? Yes, I've always. <laughs> See, now this is pretty cool. Blue or red? These are a lot nicer than ones. Uh, I believe blue. Match my. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so, you know about, you know. See, there, right there. I think I would have taken my arm off. Yeah. Brett's de right. looking decent. You got baseball yeah. 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 Good baseball, baseball bat. Yeah. Yeah. Brett, Keep those elbows yeah. up, Brett. Yeah, for a guy I mean, who doesn't play the sports ball. Look at that, he's fighting, saw. something just broke. D something just yeah, broke. Yeah, but he, push it off. Look, he's fighting Darth Maul. Push me off. Push. And then swipe at me. Whoa, Did your kids I'm think you're cool? Give you a uh, yeah, the microphone. <laughs> yeah. I don't think, they thought I was cool, I think, yeah, when they saw this part. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But not the... Not the other stuff. <laughs> Gently that way. No, he's coming in, he's coming in tough now. You Jedi. Look at this. Ray Park's a cool dude, though. I met him a couple of times. How yeah. are they making these noises on site? No, it's it's the it's it's sword. It's it's a, yeah, yeah, they had the thing. Yeah, it's not like when we were kids. They had the bullshit yeah. noises. We had to make them ourselves. So that was cool. So you got the sign. Nice. Oh, and what? <laughs> and what? <laughs> <laughs> what did they? So what did they tell that's you? Nice work, babe. Yeah, that's that was nice. Nice. That was nice. So what did they tell you when you got out of it? Did they say that was terrible? Or did they like no, it? actually, the, the, the one of the uh, the sound guy come up because that was the best one of the day, and I was like, that's really? awesome, nice. Yeah. Oh, cool. Look at you. I had told him I was I was going to be horrible. I right. told that their handlers are there and stuff, and and he was. Way to set I mean, the expectations. That's the, good. the coolest guy. Yeah. Like I felt Ray like Park he could have. Kept going, like he was having fun too. And they actually, you know, the, the reason I only got one question is because I guess he was having so much fun with everybody. Yeah. And just like anything, then when I show up, it's like, all right, we're cutting them. Right. <laughs> well, plus, again, they didn't know who the hell you were. So they, yeah. the fact that you, yeah. but, um, Star Wars fan, huh? Yeah. That to me was, um, because Ray Park, Ray Park, you could tell, would, would, would be there all day, but he yeah. had to interview so many people. And, uh, now this one, this one I watched this morning. Um, this is something. Um, this now, is something. This looks like something out of Sesame Street. Yes. I feel like if Chewbacca yes. were to have a human beard, it would look a lot like. Brett's I'm telling though. you, when it's you color, like Chewbacca shitty. coming on Sesame when Street, when you watch this, this legit looks like Roxy. Watch this and tell me if you don't feel like you're watching Sesame so, okay. Street. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Well, tell, explain it after. Let's watch uh, the uh, questions. Wait, oh, don't, oh, sorry, don't tell sorry, me. That. Sorry, watch, okay, we're gonna watch the Sesame Street clip. Yeah. And actually, can you put the Sesame Street music behind this? Can you, do, you, can you guys do that? Is. is that possible? You got to give us a minute. Yeah, all right, go ahead. So I'm, as they set up, I, I'm just play it underneath. They're going to put the Sesame Street music under under this, and I think it's going to play brilliantly. Because when I was watching it this morning, because cops are, he goes, he's like, yeah, the Ray Park stuff's good. And I'm like, well, what about the Chewbacca? He's like, Ray Park stuff's great. <laughs> and, and I'm like, well, what about it? He's like, yeah, it's just awkward. And and, and I watched it. And it's Brett, to Brett's credit, Which too. One? You did this one second? Uh, yes. Yeah, and Brett, to Brett's credit, also Brett said uh, it, it just it it played it didn't play as well as I hoped. And then when I watched it, I was like, it, yeah, okay, All right, let's bring it down. Let's bring the musical down a little bit. And tell me when you're ready. What's up, Collider fans? <laughs> I'm here with the myth, the legend, the Wookie Chewbacca. What's up, Chewy? Uh, do you mind if I call you Chewy? <laughs> awesome. Chewbacca it is. <laughs> what is a Wookiee? Hmm. Certainly clears that up. <laughs> you know, we know about the Chewbacca that fights these Star Wars, but what does Chewbacca do in his free time? <laughs> ah, a bit of a thrill seeker, eh? <laughs> My man. Doesn't it feel like Sesame Street? Seriously. I think it's amazing. With the Sesame Street music pilot. now, this is cool. Did everyone call you the Rookie Wookie? <laughs> it wasn't that bad of a dad joke. Oh, looks like I gotta wrap this up. I'm so sorry. Uh, you know, it was a real pleasure meeting you. Hit it. You know, I, I gotta be honest. I, I feel really bad, but I have no idea what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, what he said. It, it Dude, absolutely that was really good. Get ready for that to go viral.
really I thought you did an amazing job. I thought it was great, and I thought that with that music, it made it that much better. It needs it. It definitely needs the music. Yeah, it needs the music. Here's the deal. Yeah. Uh, they, you had to pre-approve. I talked about this mm-hmm. before I went on it. That you had to pre-approve. They shot down a, a lot of your jokes. Yeah. yeah, And I just, well, and you know, I wasn't thinking about the fact that it was a single camera shot, and that they had to fill in the Chewbacca sounds. So he's like, "You need to pause. We got to do it in one take. I got a couple takes to do it, and it just doesn't work as a single." Yeah. Camera I thought it was, well, look. I thought it was fine. I, I, th- thought, your, I thought your your delivery I, was really. good. I completely disagree with the, your assessment of the situation, really? dude. Yeah. If you you should send yeah. that to Sesame Street as like a highlight reel and get a job there because that's how you interview puppets. Yeah, you would be yeah. that's you like, would be great at Sesame Street. One hundred percent, dream job. You, dream job wow. to be on Sesame. Well, no you know joke. what? Hashtag. I'm, t- I'm telling you right Brett now. For, Brett for Sesame Street. Let's make a pitch for the sh- for the Collider audience. To really get Brett on Sesame Street, we're doing we're doing Makuga on Jeopardy. Yeah. Yeah. let's do yeah. Sheridan on Sesame. Now they would have to Sheridan wipe the Sesame. internet yeah. of everything I've ever done in order Which to is do fine. that. I'm telling you, Nick no, can do that. I mean, look, Andrew Santino, Santino nobody is, goes to yeah. the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew Pulls Santino's up. got a lot of Ricky jobs. Ricky Gervais has been stuff. on. So yeah. Andrew Santino was on a network comedy on ABC. And, yeah, yeah. Although it's he did ask me to take the Ali Hayes interview down. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Brett on Sesame is one of my favorite things we've ever talked about. Um, um, so I would love to. That would be great. Can you imagine if we got him on Sesame Street? I could meet Snuffleupagus. I would. Just, yeah. yeah. Were you nervous during that because you didn't seem it? Okay. Well, so this is the thing. Ray Park is a celebrity, and like uh, you know, like this is. I knew this was a guy in a costume, and I knew he was just like me. <sighs> and I thought, oh, this will be a fun little improv thing. But it it was you know I wrote the script out and everything. I had to make changes. I tried to button it, you know. And then it just kind of like when I was there, I'm like, oh, this is weird because like he would just go. But he wasn't saying anything. And, then like, and you stuck to the script. So then, then they add the Wookiee in later. Yeah, they yeah. yeah. I mean, a couple uh, times uh. you can see I'm trying to remember because it was so awkward that I couldn't remember what was next because I'm like, okay, then he roars and then, and I wrote it. You know, but <laughs> right. I had practiced it. I mean, all day long I'm looking it over. I'm like, how does this work? But then when I finally got there, it just seemed... I was like, this is really awkward. But I wasn't, because this for me was just doing sketch comedy. Right, so yeah, this is why, you know. Yeah, but you it's put like, in the work. I, I really respect that and appreciate it because I, I think that a lot of people think, watch these things and they're like, oh, they're winging it. Yeah, yeah. You wrote a script, you memorized you it, you know. rehearsed it all day. And she and thinks it you're worked. awkward. And she yeah. gave me a I thought actually, you did a really great job. When you no see joke. It, you're like, oh, these people are winging it. I was yeah. not going to write I a am. script. <laughs> I was kind of nervous about it, but they kept asking and I felt bad. I'm like, oh, nobody's writing Chewbacca scripts. So I banged one out and sent it to them. It's good. What audience, what's the audience? Audience saying right now, uh, they're thinking you did really well, bro. Oh. Yeah, yeah. No, joke. Really no joke, Brett. Uh, I said it's great not job. Easy to do. Uh, Empire Strikes Brett. Nice. That's, uh, like one that. of the ones that came. Uh, hashtags already there. Brett Sesame. for Sesame Street. Yeah, we gotta get him. And Fingy and the Bingy. Uh, I think followed. Sheridan for Sesame is better because it runs S- like S and S. Yeah, Sheridan. Sheridan for Sesame. Yeah. Uh, for Sheridan the number. For Sesame? Okay. Yeah. Sheridan, Sheridan for Sesame Street. Better than open Sheridan. Sheridan. So tweet That's... at Sesame Street and say, hey, this is the guy you gotta figure out. And when we put up, we put up that but video. But not whatever though, because then we gotta get something. Christian. I just said you said or whatever. That's, you're absolutely right. So <laughs> we put we're Sheridan for Sesame Street. Sheridan, <laughs> Sheridan. So yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. McCuga. What, what do you th- what do you think? Sheridan I sh- for Sesame not Street. You. Mr. McCuga, what do you think I should do after saying that? <laughs> Save it all away. All right, I will. I'm sorry. Um, let's get let's get to um, uh, we're gonna put that video up. Or put it up on the podcast channel. When we get that, tweet it at Sesame Street. Say this is your this is your next guy. But you would be you would perfect crush that I show. Would, I would no love joke. that. You'd have to move to New York, but uh, but you'd be great. I mean, the what? I, yeah, I would get. I think it, they shoot it in New York. I'm pretty they sure do they shoot it. They do, right? Yeah. yeah. So you'd have to move I to jet, New York. I jet set. I don't know if you have yeah. to move. What are you going to do? A, oh, it's not just an episode. We're trying to get him on. We're I trying think to he'd get be a great. I mean, he'd be a great he'd be a great addition. One hundred percent. I would. I would be the most lovable man alive. I know if I if He's if I had humble. to sacrifice him off the show to get him a job on Sesame Street, I'd be totally cool with that. He is perfect. And seeing that. Seeing that video, I don't know why I've never thought of it before. Because he loves kids. He's he's funny. He's dude. got kids. He's he, yeah. And sketch comedy is something he was built for. And I've watched Sesame Street recently with my with my daughter. And and how is it these days? Some of the acting's pretty atrocious. It could use a little Brett. Yeah, I need some Brett. 
I need some bread. And it's on HBO now. Splash of Sheridan. So hashtag Sheridan for Sesame. Sesame. Perfect. Oh, hashtag Sheridan for exciting. the number. Right. So we'll see. We'll see what we can Street. do. And we'll keep if you say he's for Sesame, yeah, they you just want bagel. Sesame like seeds. Or, okay. I think, okay. think McCougar's right. Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. That's yes. fine. All right. Like ST? Or? All right. I'm, I'm bored with this. Um, Street. Now, now, <laughs> now, now we're going oh, okay. now we're, now we're to move. Um, let's, let's get on to um, what we're going to talk about here. Is we never talked about Bad Boys Three, and you never talked oh, about that that Will Smith put out this awesome video of him banging yeah. his head against the wall, trying yeah. to get. And it said, "This is me," and it was like him banging his head against a tree, him banging his head against the wall, like these famous images of people banging their head against the wall. We have and the that caption. Video. Let's was, get it. Let's bring it up. And the caption was, "Trying to get Bad Boys Three made at Sony Pictures." And, and, he, and taking he a tagged, shot at Sony. And tagged Sony in the in the. Yeah, the I mean, it looks like. I mean. What up, I gotta, girl? I hate that. I don't want to get on your bad side here, what? though, too. But I got. I'm. I'm. I'm siding. With, I'm siding with Sony. Because there's got to be. There's got to be issues. The script's got to stink to heaven. No, I don't disagree. The, the, we we the, just gave them a, a, a killer idea. Though. Didn't you send? Didn't around. you send them the video? On, yeah, the, the video's in the links, guys. Of okay. the uh, the rundown. But yeah. but uh, <laughs> Riley did his job. All right. It, it doesn't. Oh, yes, God. maybe the script. I'll tell you who didn't do that job is Alex. I'm still running out of Lacroix over here. Uh, Will Smith well, shares frustration. I don't see it on the rundown here. Right there. Where? Yeah, I, I love when you point to the screen like they can see it. Well, how else is he supposed to they go, can't go down? They can't see it. Right there. There you go. Yeah. What music is it's this from? The Bad one Boys? that says Will Smith. Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you, Roxy. Roxy. All right. So All right. Let's well, see. Here it is. Here it is. So this is me banging my head on. I see. Is there audio? No, I don't think so. It's just he. Right. Oh, there you go. Right. It's funny. Jump my headphones up. Yeah. Hey, it, the world it, deserves a bad boy's three. But here's what I don't right understand. When we were talking about yeah. it, though, that's what's yeah. the Why serendipitous just, nature yeah. of Why it. Why didn't he just buy the rights? I mean, he bought the rights for, for Karate Kid. He's got a production company. Buy the rights. I don't know. Well, oh, how did you know I wanted that? Oh. Thank you. Good work, Alex. Way to go. I know. I was kidding. I wouldn't say really. he loved Predator. Nice, Beardo. Wow, that nice. was Beardo. crazy to watch and listen yeah. at the yeah, same time. Good. Meta. Good. Beardo's good. Beardo's getting this shit done. I like it. That, but listen, if you go and listen to the Riley Roundtable, he and I put together a pretty... And I've been working on a spec pitch for Bad Boys 3 for a long time. Will that ever get in the room? No. It's pretty but, amazing. You know who does get in the room? The host of Jeopardy. That's so, true. So maybe... They just need to hold but that you a little sent, longer. You sent the uh, the episode Are you to us. Fart noise? No, these fucking assholes. When I took a sip, Beardo, do it again. Watch what he does. Look. <laughs> I'm You're so Sorry. brave, Rox. I, I am. I am so fucking brave. Yep. Yeah. All right, Makuga, this is very no, passionate to you. No, We're taking a big dump on it. could give a shit it's right it's now, Makuga. You know what? We always have the <laughs> Riley Roundtable. Yeah. It's good. Oh, That's good. You on the that, that was an awesome episode. episode. No. Um, so, where, um, yeah, so this, this here's the problem I have with this movie. Okay. It's it's the same thing of, like, the same reason I didn't want another Zoolander. I, I liked Bad Boys way more than I liked the first Zoolander. I'll tell you that. The Bad Boys 2, sorry. You we didn't, didn't like need the a first Zoolander. Zoolander? No. I did not. We didn't need a Zoolander 2. We, Zoolander was perfect as is. Yeah. I'm not saying we did, but you didn't even like the first one? No, nah, I'm not a huge Ben Stiller guy. Ben Stiller to me, there's a, I, I liked him in Dodgeball. Man, I love Ben Stiller. Yes, I'm not a big Do you like his more serious stuff? Uh, yeah, I think he's a pretty decent director. I like Tropic Thunder. Um, but there's this, there's this, I don't know, he annoys the shit out of me, and I feel like I've heard too many bit stories about him. Um, I don't know if you know. What about the one where he's like going on the mountain journey? I like that one. Oh, with oh, the pictures, yeah. right? Walter Mitty? Yeah. yeah. yeah that Secret Life of Walter Mitty. I really yeah. like that. That was okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like that, that too. Movies like, so I'm, it's Apparently not like everything, enough, but. it's not like everything he does, but there's certain well, things something like. Something about Mary? Thought they was yeah, yeah I didn't mind him in that. What about Greenberg? Great in that. No, didn't Greenberg? like didn't like him okay. in that. Uh, the, the the other one with what's it the Polly movie? A long came Polly. I love sorry, long I didn't like him. Oh, I know. Man. I know. I'm sorry. But keeping the faith. What is Greenberg? I don't know if I saw it. It's Edward, uh, Norton. Edward Norton. Oh and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jenna Elfman. Like, like I said, there are things that he does sometimes. I, I loved him. Loved him in Royal Tenenbaums. Yes. Loved him. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's perfect. Fantastic. Yeah. Being real, I, I I agree with you on some like the dodgeball characters and stuff like that are always a little. Over the top for me, even for yeah. a movie that's over the top. But it's like he that was goes the one he that, said yeah. he liked. Did you ever watch? I, 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 he was okay in it. Yeah. Did you watch the Ben Stiller show when it was on, or any yeah. catch any yeah, backup sets? I, I don't know. He just he just I, I, I don't know why he just he just rubs me the wrong way sometimes. Okay. But anyway, have you met him personally? Uh, once, and, and he is was that fine. Oh. But I, I mean, from other things that I, I mean, 
again, you hear things. Yeah, people yeah. could be having a bad day when you hear things totally. about them. So I don't ever want to say like, well, that's the way he was. So that's the way he is. Yeah. I just, just never, never really, you know. Somebody met you yeah, yesterday or me today. I, I'm telling you, really? so like if Ryan Satin had only met me once yeah. yesterday, he'd probably think I was a fucking asshole. And, he, and, he's, and he'd probably be right for thinking it. So, yeah, you know, hey, <laughs> some things, <laughs> things were said. Listen, we're going to go on Tampa. You know, do a job. I found a guy. Yeah. The face is great. Yeah, um, the voice, not yeah. so much. So, it's hard to make the voice and the face at the yeah, same time. So. Bad Boys 3. The problem is that it's starting, like I said to you, it's starting to go the the, the way of the crow. Yeah. yeah and it it's like it's like every single thing. It's like, oh, this is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. So Will Smith, you have enough money. Buy the freaking things. You did it with Karate Kid. That worked out well because not only did the remake do well, then you then you were able to kind of partner up with Cobra Kai. Right. That did well. Yeah. So your production companies do well. Find a way. If Sony doesn't want to do it right, Buy those motherfuckers. I just don't right? understand why Michael Bay doesn't want to make the amazing comeback after the Transformers debacles and be like, Bad Boys 3 is my swan song. Let me destroy this. Not a debacle for him, though. Because yeah. he made so much damn money. He, yeah. That's why he did five of them or whatever yeah. it was, because <laughs> he kept making money. Yeah. Um, because they're atrocious. Yeah. I mean, and I know some people, well, the first one's okay. I, I'm, a, I'm a hardcore Transformers fan. The 1986 animated is the best. Um, and that's a real Transformers movie. Right. Optimus Prime hiding behind a house and like doing like little things. And nobody <laughs> hears him. <laughs> They're wrong. So They're really stupid. I, I, the, the whole fra- it's the best one out of the five, but the yeah. whole franchise is not sucks. saying a lot. My, yeah. uh, it sucks. I I gotta say I did. I was not so mean about the first one. I, I like the first because one. Because a lot of people like the first one. I saw a 13 year old yeah. boy and getting up to watch the cartoons. I, you couldn't get me up in the morning but I would get up at 6.30 in the morning to wait for that cartoon and I just was like, you know, what were you mad about? They were robots and they <laughs> turned into a car and headed yeah. out. Yeah, it was just that, that, that part of it I get. Again, I... I always, when I first came out here, Aaron Wilhelm yeah. cuts the Schmodowns. Yeah. He and I, this is years ago, we're going to, way before they even announced it, we're like, we, we could have never got it made. We were writing a spec to do Transformers. To do a Transformers movie. Cool. Same way they did in the cartoon where they landed like during the times of the dinosaur and they were like out, they were powered down for millions of years. Um, billions of years. And then the 80s is when they, they pop back on, but they, they it takes a, Seriously, right? And they don't have these kind of st- the the robots peeing on on humans with yeah. oil like that kind of shit. I was just like, this is this is a Michael Bay because the problem is with Michael Bay is when Michael Bay just does straight action, it's really enjoyable to watch. It's fun to whenever he tries to tell jokes. I don't know why he thinks he's funny. Like I don't know who tells him he's funny. He is like the most unfunniest humans to ever walk the pla- the planet Earth. <laughs> I, you don't so think Bad Boys Two Bad Boys is, funny? is pretty goddamn funny, right? But look who's in the movie. Will, Will Smith, Smith and Martin, Martin Lawrence, Lawrence. they're yeah. making the comedy and they're they're making it work. It's not Michael Bay's jokes. Michael yeah. Bay's jokes are horrendous in the way he does it. It's it's he is an unfunny dude. Like the, again, the chemistry, <laughs> the, the <laughs> pain and gain. Um, I have my issues with that movie, and my issues with that movie, I made him clear very uh, it was because he takes light of a um, very serious situation, yeah. and the person who's murdered is treated very disrespectfully. The chemistry between The Rock and Mark Wahlberg are, are incredible and, and, and funny. Who's the third person in that movie? Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie. That's true. They Anthony Mackie. So um, anyway, the th- between the three of them, works works great. And I, I think it's those guys that really make that movie pop. But that's I don't disagree. one of the best. So anyway, the okay. point is, I, that's why I get, get him out of there. Do you think it could possibly, I mean, do you think it would be well received and do you think they could act? actually make a good bad boys three the last one was 2003 i I just the way that mark pitched me the script of what is currently like a leaked script sounds terrible what is the leak uh what was it you you read it or you saw no it was it was the leaked kind of like they're both down in their luck and it's yeah you know, the Luke Skywalker. Are, yeah, kind yeah. of a thing. Instead of Mark and Mike live together, yeah. Reggie's the hot new cop on the force. Like, there's, you, yeah, it's a comedy. Have, why does everybody have to be in the shits all the time? Yeah, every single time. It's like, yeah, yeah Luke's in the is shits. great. It's like, except for me, but it, it, it's no a logical shit. next step. He's yeah. like Thanks, married guys. to Gabriel Union. He's, he's, they're, they're living next to each yeah. other. They're chasing they're down like, this criminal. They want to retire, but they're not going to retire until this oh, guy is caught. You can't. I even feel like there's a way. retire until he's caught. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I even feel like, and he, he came up with the villain, the ghost, yeah. right? Which I think is a great villain. I ghost. think there's a way to tie it to like Bad Boys 2. Like there's a mention scene. Of course there and is. They, and Joey it's, Pantaloni it's the comes one back thing the that they're trying okay. to find, and it brings him back, and there's like that lethal weapon thing where it's like, we're kind of getting ready to retire. Yeah. I'm too old for this shit, but like one no. more last hurrah. Yeah. yeah. I mean, 
Who knows? So uh, I understand your love for it, and I hope it works out for you. <laughs> Thank but you. I think that Best of luck, sir. I, I think when I'm passionate about something, I'm passionate. You are. I understood. Same but I would feel bad if it was shit. Then that's that's kind of what it's leading to. Yeah, like a predator. I, like I, yeah, the predator. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty passionate about the first predator, and I think that that's why I was so let down by last night because I thought Shane Black could save it. I thought Shane Black would turn it back into what it was in 87. and Because he had the vested interest. Yes. Yeah. And I thought that he knew at its core what McTiernan made it and what it could be again. And he was kind of the 80s guy. So mm -hmm. I thought that's what we were getting. We didn't get that. You and I was wrong. disappointed. I was but, you know, I mean, I, I've said it before on many a different Schmoes Collider show is that the only the, the time in my life that I've ever walked out of the theater and like sat down and just kind of like put my head in my hands is, in disappointment was Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Yeah. Because Indiana Jones, oh. the trilogy, yeah. is my favorite trilogy in the world. I it, didn't know that. It, oh, without a doubt. Nothing even touches it. And I, like, Everything about Indiana Jones was my childhood. That was everything to me. And when they did Chris, Crystal Skull, I walked out. I was at the Grove. I went and sat in one of those chairs with a bunch of idiots walking around, and I wanted to scream. I saw the Grove, too, yeah. Yeah, and I just I walked to my car. I drove home, sat in silence, ate a McDonald's cheeseburger, and went to bed. It was bad. I remember seeing it. I saw it with my now wife, Brutal. who was my girlfriend at the time, and Ellis. Uh -huh. right? And Ellis was trying to take the positive. It was pretty good. I'm like, dude, come on. And then yeah. he thought about it Horrendous. the next day. I saw him the next day. He's like, it's it, I that. saw it with a Indiana Jones faithful and sitting at the other end. And when the monkey scene happened, she looked down the row, got up and walked out. <laughs> and yeah, I couldn't the, believe it. Oh, we watched scene. them all with my son and my wife and I had never seen Crystal Skull. So it was a new experience for all of us. Uh, and the collective disappointment in that family. Yeah. Uh, you, know what, you know, I've never God. seen it. I have Did not seen like it. That? And even an 11-year-old yeah. was kind of yeah. like, this is I haven't so seen it old. since. You know, um, I saw it in the theater. I've never yeah. seen it again. 2008? You guys skin Wanna Crawl? That was the first Indiana Jones movie I ever saw. Oh, Whoa. no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, it, and it turned me up because I had never seen I didn't really grow up with them. You know, yeah. I grew up with Star Wars. I grew, I grew yeah. up with Predator. But, right. And then I, I saw that in the theater. I was like, oh, this is what it's all about? Yeah. But then eventually. You I, went back to watch yeah, I went ones? to see them all and Last Crusade is the best one out of all of them. I, yeah, I don't disagree. I, 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 but disagree. I, don't, I disagree. And he said that under his breath because he knows I love Raiders of the Lost Ark. So. See, for me, Raiders of the Lost Ark is a perfect movie. It's a perfect movie. Uh, Temple of Doom. It, no, it's, it's, it's a good I watched movie. Temple of Doom. Oh, Raiders yeah. is a absolutely oh, perfect movie. trying to say something. He's in post. Oh. Yeah. No, it's like Raiders of the Lost Ark and Last Crusade are they're right here. They're, it's like they're you, it's I, so I hard to choose between them. Yeah, I, I mean they're uh, definitely it's not great. That hard for me. Really? What do you yeah. like? Raiders. 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 Yeah. See, I I'm. I I'm okay, Raiders. but see, I'm okay with it. I watched Temple of Doom recently. I, just... I, lo I love it, but I tried to see. I watched. Um, I can't remember which, what else I watched. My wife. We started watching. It's it's really cheesy. I, That's I love what it. I love about and it. And I, I love it. I love it. But it's it, oh, Temple of Doom. Doom. Temple of Doom. I love it's, Temple of Doom. It, I love Temple of Doom. But, but chill it, the monkey brain. It, it is. But Willie is <laughs> Willie is so ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She is so over the top. I'm right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it, I love the movie, but I, I really do. But it is it is. And I ridiculous. hate you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah, I never, that sound yeah, bite. Did you ever notice that's that? so funny. I did when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, but it for is. some yeah. reason, I remember that one. The like all the little the, the bugs and it's yeah. like something stuck with me about the, and the eating of the yeah. you know the Oof. snake surprise. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like right. I could, so great. And you really know the, well, the movie pretty yeah. well. Yeah. You want to do a schmodown? Uh, you want, would you do an Indiana Bring Jones schmodown? I'd I do it with you. Would you? Would you? How well do you know the Indiana Jones movies? Could you watch all of them and do a schmodown? Because I put you in that. Let's do that. Ready? What is the snake's name in the first movie? Snakey McGee. Yeah. Uh, I believe the <laughs> snake's name well. is Reggie. There was a snake in the first Josh movie? McCook. Reggie. Reggie, you know that because that's how you beat McCo uh, JT. Yes. Dude, look at the that wouldn't JT. have been one of the questions. It was. It was. Stryer, it was a question. Stryer Stoner moment. Yeah. How come I'm the only person not on the walls? Uh, oh, you, well, shit. Alex. Every, Alex. Everything should be blamed on Alex. Of, of everybody in here, I'm the only one. We will, uh, we will remedy that. We Roxy. have that picture of Christian as the worst predator yeah, ever. And no Roxy. Ever. No, we'll put Roxy on it. We're, we're going to get some pictures actually from Collider Live because that's all from yeah. the old Schmo stuff. So we'll get we'll get some Collider Live pictures in here. I mean, I'm barely up there. But you're up there. Just you're up there. right Where in the are corner. You? Where? On the bottom corner of yeah. that See, fan art. He was drawn. Oh, yeah. All right, well, good. We'll figure it out. used to be a shirtless bread around here. Yeah, All right, again, they got I'm, rid of that one. For i got to be reason. honest. Second thing I'm going to tell you, bored with this, too. All right, we're gonna, <laughs> all right so, good. Cody, um, I asked you a little bit before. We're going to talk about our main topic. What are we going to be talking about? Would you let me know? Bad dates. All right, bad <laughs> dates. All right, we're going to talk <laughs> hey, about some... Hey, and speaking of Raiders. Speaking of Raiders. So, bad dates it is. Um, we are going to be talking about some bad dates. And well, because it dates. just kind of stemmed bad yesterday. Cody, what are we talking about? Bad dates. What kind of dates? 
Bad dates. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to talk about some bad dates. Best date Thank yesterday you bad from, dates. from when I set my first date when I went to see Strangers. Yes. And I came to your office and said, let's talk about bad dates. Yeah, and you did. Yeah, you, see, you get the credit bad for dates. it. You get the credit he for it. You did credit. it. You did it. Uh, we're going to be talking about. Well, I wanted to do I wanted to give the fucking set why we're doing it. It's not yes. just coming out of nowhere because we went from Indiana Jones. Like, me and Tom were talking about bad dates. I liked it. I appreciated the the behind the scenes look. All right. Oh no! No, Josh, we need some more hot tea in here. Hey, did I piss you off that much? Oh, sorry. Wow. Oh god. I guess so. Just so you guys know, at this point, it's like lukewarm cold tea. Man, you wouldn't have drank it anyway. Cold tea. I would. I would like some more hot water. All right. Well, you know what? I'm actually. You know, I'm. I. What I realized though is that you. Um. I'm. I. I. There's a compliment to be had here. Oh. Because last two weeks ago. I made you drink this, LaCroix, mm-hmm. and you drank it. No, 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 you're drinking it. Oh, you didn't? Well, then fuck off. They had All to right, come let's, back in. Yeah, they had to come in. All right, fine. All right, let's get fuck to... Off. Thank you. Um, bad dates. So what we wanted bad to... Bad Thank you so much, Cody. We wanted to talk about it because there we all have had them. There have been some ones that have, in, that have just stuck with you forever. I thought of the one, you know, Josh, that I was going to tell was... But it wasn't necessarily a date. Remember the one I told about I had to climb over the fence? Yes. Like, that wasn't necessarily yeah. a date. Yeah. So I was thinking, well, who was the best? I'm like, oh, yeah. I had to tell that one. In college. So there was this girl, Tara, that I, I wound up meeting. I mean, super hot. Yeah. I mean, really. Like paint the picture. Oh, man. Uh, I mean, I'm in my, I'm in, I'm 20, maybe 21. Maybe. Um, and she's like 19, going almost on, 20. Going on 25. And just... like Florida girl, black, you know, black hair. Okay. I mean, gorgeous. Tan, the whole, the whole night. <laughs> yeah, the whole the whole night. I mean, just very you know punching it out of my league. Sure, but I'll kick in the coverage. But you know, had the game going, had the comedy kicking, worked out. Yeah. Said, uh, let's go out on a date. She's like, I'm down. Let's do it. Go pick her up. And I'm like, so I'm, I was nervous because this is this is like one of the most attractive women I've ever been out in my life. Yeah. Start walking. I go, what stinks? To go pick her up, right? I'm walking up to her. To her, she worked in this complex. I'm like something stinks. You're not with her yet, though. No, okay. no. And I'm like, I'm walking up, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? And I'm walking, and I start walking. It's not that. I'm not shitting my pants. And I'm walking up the stairs, and I'm like, this is what is happening. Oh. My shoe was covered in shit, oh, no. dog shit, like oh, whatever no. it was. And I'm talking wet, moundy oh. shit. And I'm walking up to her doorstep, and I'm kicking up. And now I'm like. And I'm panicking, and I'm sweating, and now I'm kicking my foot on the side, trying to move it, moving oh. around. Like I'm like doing like the footloose move uh-huh. to try to. I'm like, and I'm sweating as I'm like, and I'm and I'm already like five yeah. minutes late, right? Yeah. So I'm like, what do I do? Do I keep going up? Because there is another way, another route that if I could pick her up, I can mm-hmm. avoid that route. But I got, I still got to get the shoe clean. So I run down the thing, and now I'm in the grass, like doing this move, and right. and there's bits oh, and it's everywhere, and it, and I think that I cleared it out. But needless to say, the, I mean, you know, it was like a kiss or something at the end of the night, but never went out with her ever again. <laughs> um, and and it was horrendous. You blame it on the shit? Yeah, absolutely. I don't remember so, the date. I just remember that part. And she, you think she smelled the shit the whole time? She probably was like, what is that smell? Yeah. You know, and I'm, and I'm like, stinks. this guy stinks. Yeah. Uh, and, and I did, because I yeah. stepped in some fucking guy who didn't pick up his dog shit. That's mm-hmm. the worst. And, you know, that guy, F him in the A. Brutal. Yeah. Every morning. Brutal. Taking Bad my kids dates. to school. Bad day. Loads of shit. Yeah. Right in front of the apartment. Like people. The just worst. I don't get. Why don't you pick up your shit? You it's, it's lazy. Like, it's like, like dude, dog get garbage. Oh, bag. you should all lose your fucking dog all yeah. the time. Yeah. I'm walking my dog and there's shit everywhere. I pick up the shit That's every it. time. Pick up your dog shit. It's not hard. If you don't, Mr. McCuga, if you don't pick up the dog shit, what should they do? Save it all. There it is. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. Roxy. Roxy's thinking. I think. You got a really uh, bad one? Or is she still pissed about me taking her tea? I'm not pissed, bad I just dates. want it. <laughs> only, only, so, Sala, Sala I would like you to Alex. chime in only after the date story. If it is a bad date, if it's not a bad date, then you can. Uh, you don't have to chime in at all. I've been on bad so date. many. Thank Holy you, shit. I've been on so many bad Girls dates. Girls have it so um, much worse than yeah. dudes. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. It's like unbelievable. Give me but one. I remember that one time I went out with a guy. Had shit on his shoe? Uh, <laughs> was no, it Florida? No, but it is a fart story. Uh, um, uh-oh. And he was... He was fine. He was bland as shit, but like he was fine. And we went out, um, and I would never recommend this. Uh, we went to a museum for our first date. Who chooses that? Him? A museum? Is he, he, he David was, Swimmer? He was like, What do you, I think we were t- like, we had met at a bar or something, and then he had texted me. He was like, What do you like to do? And I was like, 
oh, all different things. And he was like, do you like museums? And I was like, yeah, sure. And he was like, well, let's go. And then it was like, you can't really make fun of somebody's date choice. It's, it feels emasculating. Right. Yeah, yeah. But also, it's they're trying so hard to be a rom com. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, museum. <laughs> yeah. 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 So we went to the date, and uh, we went to the museum. It was really awkward. And I went home and I told my roommate, I was like, I'm never seeing that guy again. And she was like, You always do this. You always do this. You don't give anybody a real shot. It's the roommate that I know? No. Okay. No. Uh, wh- the old you- roommate. No, 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 okay. not stress. Oh, okay. uh, this was before that. My okay. my best friend, who's now happily married and doing way better in her love mm-hmm. life than I am. Even with that uh, voice. Yeah, yeah. Totally. <laughs> she always do this. She always do this. Give him one more shot. And so I was like, fine, I'll go out with him one more time. Then he wanted to go to the movies, which is a really crappy date too, because I like we can't talk. I like I like. I, I love the movies. It's my favorite yeah. place, but you can't talk. Yeah, on a go to dinner date, first. Go to dinner first or oh, something. But you it's didn't like do a third that. or fourth we, date. We met for a movie, Understand. like straight up. I get it. Um, he was like, I don't get off late work until late. We got to go straight to the movie. So we go to the movie. <laughs> this guy a- sounds awesome. After the movie, I was like, I'm never seeing this guy again. I give him the second shot. He's a fine person. Like, I just know. Yeah. Um, and then I bumped into him the next week. At, and he had been texting me. And right. I used to Are do. Are we kissing at this point? No, no. Oh, wow. Just blowing. I used to do the. Just a couple blowjobs. <laughs> I used to do the ghost situation, and so he had texted me asking oh, me out. Oh, I always ghosted. He had texted me asking me out again. I hadn't responded. He yeah. had texted me the next day again. I didn't respond. I see him yeah. at a bar. I was talking to another guy at the bar. He sees me from across the room. He came over to me. He turned around. He farted on me and said, eat my shit, and walked away. Wait, what the Wait, 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 wait. wait what? Why? Because <laughs> I was talking to another guy at the bar. I don't know, two dates. He and and you weren't, you weren't, I've weren't never heard of this. I've never heard of it. No, was he a three-year-old? Turned over, turned over, farted on me. Was it loud? Eat my shit and walked away. Was it like a... Beardo, what did it, it sound like? so loud. Like that? Louder. Really? Louder. Do you guys have a louder? That's yeah, right around right. Really? It, eat this, my shit. So the guy next to me was like... Is this is, in Boston? No, uh, in LA. Wow. The guy was next, that at Barney's The guy that I was talking to was like... Do I need to know something? Like, who is that? Right. Because he obviously thought I was like cheating on somebody. And I was like... A, I've been on two dates with the fart master. Yeah, wow. farted right on me. And wow, so the fart master lives. That's I, like, I, is I, that I, like, I, is it I like his mo? It. Uh, and then about the fart about lives. like six months later, he texts me, "Hey, what are you doing?" F R R R T is what he texted after. Yes. I can't. That's incredible. Hey, what are you doing? That. It is incredible. Yep. That's a move. That's a that's that's a move. That's, Eat my shit. It's an aggressive. That's aggressive. No- I mean, that's negotiation. The, I've never even seen that in a movie before. Like, where's the inspiration? To that? But what does he do? Does he do like a shift? Does he move like his? Does he move <laughs> his arms again? up? Show me that. Does he do like a shift? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. He literally like turned around, right. lifted an entire leg, wow. and eat my shit. That'll show you. He, what if yeah. he actually did poop his pants? Like, yeah, that would have been better. One yeah. of those like polo wearing Connecticut kids too. So and he thought that was funny. I don't think he thought it was funny. I think he was mad. What does he do now? He was pissed. I've no idea. He's a spoiled brat. You you, yeah. you moved on with yes, your life. Was he he literally kid? reverted yeah. to a third Loaded. grader and farted on you. Loaded. Yeah. He farted on me. And he didn't tool. realize that farts are just poop farts. particles that are you that, know, that is, particulates. It's yeah. not really exactly. poop. Yeah, so you're not really eating shit. shit. Yeah, farted in my face. But, but the dude that you were talking to, that guy should be like, dude, you just that, fart in our general area. Yeah, that's he he just started cats. laughing about it. He actually ended up being a cool kid and and um, somebody I saw for a minute. But like, he would he was you later always, on and you I guys always had the, the fart yeah later on when I explained it to him he was like if I had understood the story I would have socked the guy in the face yeah. right. because like you don't let somebody fart on somebody else <laughs> and it, and it, he was confused which very, is fair enough now I understand why you don't like farts so much and that's yeah. why now, and now it is really rude sense. to me I'm brave now right so you hear so when <laughs> so you hear it now so when you hear that um, so that maybe this guy who tweeted at me yesterday maybe he was maybe the fart master the guy, maybe he was the fart master and he knew it yeah, so. I, in a similar but not very similar vein the first time I ever Ever went to meet my now wife for drinks. She was out with a friend. We were at, have you ever been to that like corner kind of like speakeasy in Culver City by like the parking garage by the by the Bank of America? Have you guys ever been there? I know exactly. Which what is, you're it says cocktails. I forget what the name of the place ba- is. Blind Barber. Is that what you're talking about? It's, no, no, no. Oh. It's on the other side. Anyway, so I go and meet her there, and it's kind of like the speakeasy. And I walk in, and I see her sitting there with her friend, and a guy is talking to her. This is your now wife? Yeah, okay. it's Amanda. And I was like, that's kind of weird that a dude's talking to her. I was like, I'll go to the bar, get a drink, and I'll come over. So I come it's over. It's weird that you have a conversation with a man? No, it's just weird that she invited me to have drinks and some guy is like glomming on her. Like it's not just oh, okay. having a conversation. Arm on her. Like oh, he was wow. leaning onto her. And, and how long are you guys dating at this point? We had ne- we had only met at the engagement party and been texting. This oh, is the first time I was going oh, out okay. to meet her oh, for drinks. Okay? So different. I thought you were like full blown dating. Right. No, no, hey, no, come no, hang no. out with me now. Here's some dude. Right. Okay. Exactly. Got it. 
So I get the drink and I look over and she's got these this up. look in her eyes that's just oh. like, get this dude away from me. Got so it. I walked up. I was like, what's up, babe? I was like, uh, who's this guy? And she w- he was like, excuse me? I was like, it's my girlfriend. I don't know if you, you know. Uh, I, I just, we, you know, I thought it made it. And she, he was like, you didn't say anything about a boyfriend? And she goes, well, you didn't really let me talk. And so. This is crazy. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you why this is crazy. What happened with Sadie? Parallels to where I, he and I always felt like we were kind of like in the way that with women and everything to the we, we, in our lives, very similar, just by a couple, Paths, of, couple yes. of years removed. And I told him, I said, one day, I'm telling you, dude, you're going to find your lady. You're going to get married. Said, nah. Yes. Yeah. My wife, when I fr- never... When I met her, we were dating. She was at a bar, yeah. and we were hanging out. Some dude is talking to her, or whatever. Too. I walk up. She's like, "Oh, my boyfriend's here," and we started. And she said he never did that kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. Too. So, and it's, the, you're saying, and because the parallels between the man, that you, that's, yeah, it's that's weird. Awesome. So anyway, when that's you say, it just remind me. Of it. So this dude says, he's like, "You didn't say anything about boyfriend. You're lying. You don't know." And I was like, "No, nah, I mean, I'd, I'd like to sit down if it's cool." And like, he stood up. And so I started talking to Manhattan. I was like, what's up with that dude? And she goes, I don't know. He sat down. He told me he worked for uh, Boeing and that he was going to be a big time engineer and that he wanted to take her on a date and show her an airplane and something like that. And so the dude the dude line. has the gumption, like 30 minutes later, to come back, oh, say God. to Amanda, hey, I'm leaving. Would you like my number? And I said to the guy, yeah, give me your number. And he looked at me real confused and then gave me his phone number. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, he and I pull on my phone. I write it down. I was like, "Cool, man." I was like, "We're into some weird stuff." So, uh, <laughs> and he looked at me really confused. Then his buddy looked at his buddy, and they walked out. We're on the way home. I was like, "Let's call that Boeing dude." So we called him, <laughs> called him. He didn't answer, and we left this insane voicemail. And it's like awesome. never, never texted us, never called us back. But I was like, and that was that, and now we're married. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's a good that's one. Amazing. So it wasn't a bad date, but a good story. Yeah, yeah. But, good story. Yeah, yeah, good story. Yeah, yeah, good story. But uh, Brad, give me a bad date. I'm sure you got millions. Bad of you know, date. you would, you would think you. I Solid. would, but um, I didn't actually go on a lot of dates. Really? And and when I did, I kind of just fell in love with the girl and we dated for a oh. long time. Like all of my dates ended up to be one year, two year, five year relationships. Oh. You've had some disastrous relationships. Yeah, I've had disastrous relationships, <laughs> but the actual dates were good. Not, you know, not bad. Yeah, yeah. So solo, they were not. What's that? Forget. It. <laughs> Thank bad you. dates. Thank <laughs> I wish I had one. You'd think I'd have horrible dates. Damn, so. Riley. Uh, yeah. Oh God, yes. Uh, after I. Uh, <laughs> After I got divorced, I started making the rounds, yeah. and then I had a relationship for a little bit, but that didn't work out very long, so I was dating online. I go out with this girl who's a lawyer, and she said she liked wine, mm-hmm. so I picked a wine bar in Santa Monica. I don't know if you guys have been there. It's off Santa Monica Boulevard. I meet there. She sits down, and she's immediately on her phone like this, yeah. and I'm like, okay. Here we go. I'll get a, red, uh, a glass of red wine. I said, Do you, you said you like red wine. What, what can I get you? And she said, I want champagne sweet. And I went, okay, that's not a wine drinker. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. you like candy. Yeah. Right. So, okay, great. And she's like, so she's pissing you off here. You don't fuck with your wine. No. So she's messing I love, you up. Right yeah. There. And I'm like, you, right. we just had that conversation and via, via text, sure, but okay. So she's like, oh, and I go, yeah, work stuff. Uh, how, yeah, how, how's work treating you today? And she's like, can we just please not talk about my work? Wow. Okay. You dick. For and I was asking. like, she, oh, shit. Who was this person? How did you find this person? I, I met her online. I don't oh. know. I, I, I don't oh. even know her name. Tinder. Yeah, yeah, I was yes. trying to think of my dude's name. No, it wasn't Tinder. It, See, it wasn't Tinder. I missed the, uh, the online dating thing. I yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I never, you you never didn't did miss it. much. I, I had to call it, my wife after you our first date. I had to, phys- you know, like we didn't have, I'd like call her on her home phone. Yeah. And then I had to leave a message like that. I, I missed that whole texting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing that kids today will never know is the fear of calling oh, a girl Jesus. in like the seventh yes. or eighth grade. And then the dad answering the phone like, no. hey, Mr. Patrice, can I talk no, to Laura? text. Yeah, yes. what are text. You, what are you doing? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Brutal. Yeah. It's, HB. Oh, it's a, but uh, using the text to my advantage, I ended up leaving. I ended up saying, oh, Oh my! My roommate called. My dog's sick. I don't know what's going on. I gotta go. I gotta get him to the vet. Cow to and the I ended rescue. up leaving, and she—I don't even think fucking heard me, because she was like, uh, uh, "All right." Oh, what a disaster! And it was. Were yeah. you at Copadora? Yeah, I don't remember. Riley. I don't, yeah, <laughs> I actually out. got out of there. All right. Well, how about some bad dates from anything they talk about in the uh, in the chat room? There, they got anybody? Uh, ain't, well, anger, angry Lori, lawyer Bartles and James. Yeah, yeah, yeah. solid fun fact. <laughs> angry uh, lawyer. Yeah, Bartles and Bartles. also what I want to do is I want to hear from the fans. Uh, make sure you hashtag Collider Live. We're going to go through some of the tweets. But how about the uh, how about the wangers in there? You got anything? Uh, yeah, Pierdo, you got to have something in- incredibly awful. Nope, <laughs> I don't go outside. <laughs> <laughs> but don't you have a girlfriend? Good talk, Russ. 
Not anymore. Thank you for asking. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't know that. How am I supposed man, to know? Wow, really? Yeah, well, hey, you know, all right. It's well, fine. Well, we'll is it, was Wait, she sorry, in your man. car and she tried to use the brakes and she's like, this guy's yeah. an idiot? Can, yeah. we, can we talk about what happened? No, we just uh, weren't right for each other. So. How long were you together? Uh, three years. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, yeah, beard, I'm sorry, man. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. Did, I don't know as long as she didn't fart on you, man. No, I farted on her, though. Did you for real? No, I didn't. I, I That'll tried. learn her. You had to pause there. But Roxy yeah. gave you a good way to band it next yeah. time. Sorry is it, I drank your tea, well, Roxy. Beardo, is it because, like, you oh. know, what, what? I got a great one here. Okay, Joshua. Fuck, fuck, fuck Beardo and his pain. A bad see. date is she choked me while we were making out, and she turned out to be schizophrenic. Oh. oh. Right. Schizophrenic. Joshua Gonzalez. Sorry about that, man. Jay Guns. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Choked me in the middle of it. Jesus. It's brutal yeah. when they're choking you and schizophrenic, because yeah. you just don't they know kind of go hand in hand. I one time went on a first date with a girl who said she didn't want to tell me her last name because she didn't want me to Google her because she didn't want me to look pictures of her online because she feels like she's not as photogenic as she is in real life. You gotta, I was like, you're a crazy person. Turn around. Walk yeah. away. All right. What about, dates are uh, so fun. Like, if you, it's so easy if to have, have a good, good date. I just don't understand why all dates can't just be good dates. Like, can't everybody just be fucking normal? No. Yeah. No. Have no. you seen the people in this city? I yeah, I had one. I, I had one. Yeah. I remember, yeah, I didn't have a lot of bad dates because, but I did have that one in California. I don't remember that well. I just remember being bored. I remember it was like, you just, you see, Boring. yeah, because I remember we were at a party, maybe we said that when I lived on Blackburn, yeah. they, they had that stretch where every, everybody, every, lived there. everybody lived there, but also all the apartments had people over yeah. and you meet people because there's big parties and there was, you know, again, this woman who was really attractive, go out with her and realize this is no one I ever want to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bored out of my skull. Yeah. Just hearing them talk. So, um, Ghost. that's why that little thing, I, I would have done that like little, uh, Speed dating thing. I feel like yeah. that for me would have been good because. Is that a thing they offer still? Oh, I, yeah. I'm sure, yeah. When I bartended at, uh, at Stone Rose here in, in LA at the Sofitel, we had speed dating every Tuesday night. And there were some of the nights were hysterical because some people just end up making out at the bar. Yeah. What do you sit down for two minutes and move on to the next? Right? Like a minute yeah. and a half, two minutes, yeah. and then at the end of it, you are like, I really liked Dave. Let's see if see. Dave put one right. in for me, and then if you didn't get it. But then there was always a couple other single guys or single girls that it went terribly for, and they were getting hammered, and it was hysterical, <laughs> and they were awesome. Yeah, it was so. At a it was bar so speed good. dating must be. It, it's just it's just a sex show. That's yeah, all yeah, one hundred percent. That's all it is. Um, <laughs> all right, we're moving. We're moving on. Let's get. Let's get to. A t some Twitter, whether it's about this or anything else, too. Hashtag and Collider Live. And Riley, go ahead and check that out. Maybe we'll yep. take a couple phone calls, too. Do you want to do that, guys, or no? Oh, Can we do the phone yeah. calls? Yeah. Yeah, we're set up for that. We are. Right, we let's do a couple phone calls. Uh -huh. You can let's talk about whatever out. you want to talk about. You can ask whatever you want to ask. You and know, try and to make them not all about me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so let's get, uh, let's get a f few in here. You guys I ready gotta to be go? honest. I know. That interview with the Wookiee was fantastic. Oh, that was really yeah. good. Yeah. 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 Great. I'm telling you, hashtag really bread for Sesame Street. I was sweating yeah. it. I was no. sweating it. I've got Sheridan for Sesame Street. Street. I've Sorry. got a, a got bad one? date from a tweet here. All right, what this, do you got? This, one comes from, uh, <laughs> this one comes from Matt. He says, ask the girl if uh, she... Uh, Oh, I'm gonna say, asked a girl I'd be been seen to prom with 200 lit candles on her driveway. Oh. She said no, so she could go with a guy that I hated. It was also my birthday, and I broke my leg that weekend. I like oh. to forget about that one. God, I don't yeah. think you can forget Talk about that about one. A, That's God. brutal. Did you guys see, that was a bad date. Yeah, did you, you guys went, see the, the Spider-Man yeah. game thing? No. Oh my what God! This guy, who's a massive fan of Spider-Man, uh -huh. reached out to them when they were putting out their new PS4 game, and he was like, "I want to propose to my girlfriend in this game. Oh, Can you no. guys do that?" So they did, and two weeks before the game came out, not only did she break up with him, but now she's dating his brother. Oh, <gasps> ah! oh P. Yeah. Daggers so in the game. <gasps> so brave. So, brave. so brave. Yeah, it's, I'll tell you what, man. It's like, oh. That's brutal. Brutal, brutal. I'm scared for my children. I mean, like, I, I when I hear these stories, right, like uh, Roxy, I immediately I see my daughter yeah. as an adult. I'm like, motherfucker. But you know, <laughs> you know what? I, I, yeah. It's a different game nowadays, though, because like I've been worse. I think I've been worse to men than they have to me. Why so? Why do you say that? Why have I like yeah. what happened in my childhood that made me this way? Or you mean like examples? Well, let's of go to what? both. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, hey. like, what do you mean that you done bad? Just break up with dudes and say, <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm good. Like, no, so ghosting is really fucked up. And yeah. like. Like, I did it a I've lot. What is ghosting? Ghost what people. breaking up people? And and no, no, you, you don't just, respond. You never, you never break respond. up. You just uh, yeah. ghost. Yeah. Just, you just like leave. disappear like a ghost. Oh, like there was a guy away. I was yeah. seeing for months. He was an absolute doll. Uh, and then I ghosted him. Why did you get bored? I don't know, because I, I was a fucktard. Like, so oh. I no But what's no the reason. reasoning behind it? There's got to be one reason. There really wasn't. I want to be an asshole and that's it? He was a great kid. Uh-huh. And I guess I... 
I don't know. I really don't know what it was. Okay. I just didn't. Oh, Did you to just like forget about him for a while? Uh, Do you want to date other dudes? Is that what it was? No, I don't even think. Maybe I yeah. was dating other dudes the whole time. So, oh. but I don't think he was. And maybe I started to feel bad or something. So I ghosted him. And then one day I was wasted, and I walked by his apartment, and I was like, mm, I could get laid. So I knocked on his door, <laughs> and he was there. And I went inside <laughs> and had sex with him. And then he got in the shower, and I left was while it. he was in the wow. shower. And he called me fifteen times. Right. And I never picked and up, this goes, and I never and responded. So this, and you're talking about with your, so you think this has to do with childhood stuff? <laughs> well, I don't actually know, but like oh, I just right. mean it's That's a different time. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if you meant like why do I do oh, this? Oh, I don't know. No, it's I wanted a, to know what you did this. It's just a different time for women, though. I think like I don't think that well, I you think... have as much to worry about as people did back in the day. Well, see, I think you have a point, but I think I think Roxy's showing something here too. Is that you know there is a lot of men bashing here, and women can be shitheads too. Oh, totally. You yeah. know, <laughs> and I had you know I had decent stuff, but I had women say some pretty horrible things to me. You Such know? as yeah. it's well, did, one time I went to I tried to go to a party, and I was with two friends of mine and the girl at the party goes yeah you guys can come in but Brett can't oh, and I really? mean I was young how, okay. and I I mean this broke me pretty yeah. hard, oh that's you know? tough yeah. so yeah. Yeah. how young uh, I was like seventh grade or you know, oh yeah, that's yeah. awful yeah and then so that I'm like and then but then you got the two elements of that this chick thinks I'm trash and my buddies are like peace right and they left and they left me and then I just go walk. how close of buddies were they they were like these were like my best yeah. friends at the time. Yeah, damn, yeah. sucks. That's the transition from grade school to, oh, to so middle mean. school yeah. was just. A That's what brutal. I'm saying. That's what I'm yeah. worried about too. Is like I, with my kid, in like first grade now. It's like all right, everything will be all right for a little bit. First and grade is first, you start assimilating though. Yeah, That's yeah when they, you get but, into. they do. But it, yeah. but it's also it's it's once you start into a certain place, it's kind of dealing with some shit. Yeah. I know that I'm. I'm getting ready for it. Yeah, you know, it's like sure. it, it's tough. It's tough. It's, well, it's, the internet and the tweeting and the like, you put placing value on likes and things like. Yeah. I It's a whole. I don't know if I can help them. I don't know. I'm scared that I can't help them. Well, you, because considering the, you just figured out Instagram last week, probably <laughs> not. Um, but I do want to get to. A, thank you. Thank oh. you so much. All right, so we have a phone call. Who do we got? Hello, this is Jonathan Peck from Alexandria, Virginia. Hey, Jonathan, oh, how Jonathan are you doing? Peck, what's, what's up, man? What's up, brother? What do you got? Um, I sort of have a question, but I just wanted to say hello to everyone. Hello. What's up, JP? Hello. Yo. What's up? Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now, okay, I'll just say this real quickly. Um, just a little quick question for Christian, though, that um, it's not really news, but I just want to know your thoughts. What do you think of the original Order 66 brutal scene that Ian McDermott said it was too brutal? When they sit with it because they the one that they couldn't film, or yeah, but either way, either in way. what movie? Uh, in, uh, in, Sith. in in Revenge of the Sith. Oh, okay, got it. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I always it's it, how much more brutal than than Anakin lighting himself on getting lit on fire and, and burning through. I I think that it's just a matter of selling out the selling the scene and selling what the actual. I wish they would have shown more. It was a brutal of it. ending to a it movie. It was the movie. There was a lot of. I mean, out of the prequels, Sith is is easily the best one for mm -hmm. sure. I think there's a lot of things execution wise that could have been handled better. I think the dialogue is the worst parts of the prequel. With better right. dialogue, the movies could, could have been shot the same way and done everything to, and could have been amazing. So, I love you, uh, hate thank it. you, Jonathan. I appreciate your phone Thanks, call, buddy. man. Thanks, um, man. All right, so let's get another uh, call in, and then I want to. If we have time, do we have time. We got some time. Time for yeah, what? Yeah, we get 10 minutes to talk to fans, so let's do that. I was going to send Brett into the office to, to interview some people, but we can't do that because we got to go to our movie. Oh, right. Yeah. Is he coming? Brett, are you going to be here tomorrow? No. Well, then, you know, I start crying and stuff. <laughs> I know. I want, you're not going to be here tomorrow for sure? Yeah, i got to pick up my mom from the airport. Oh, oh, she oh she's coming, like, right when the show starts. Uh, Mama Sheridan needs yeah, to be on yeah. the show. She booked it before. She's going to plan differently now. So, oh, I'm uh, sorry. I messed up. Yeah. Because you know, so. <laughs> we got to have her. Because I know the Afterthoughts guys will be very happy. They that, love Mrs. Sheridan. Really? Yeah, yeah, the Afterthoughts. She's hysterical. Do you know her? You guys know? Yeah, yeah, she's been on Schmoes before. Thanks for watching past iterations of the show. <laughs> You're um, welcome, man. Yeah. She's the one that called out Roxy. She's like, well, obviously, Roxy never saw Schmoes. Um, no, because uh, she, she doesn't know, know you. you. Yeah. I did I did watch, but I guess I didn't watch after. You, you didn't watch after you weren't on anymore? Yeah, I guess so. Nice. I watched before I was on We that. actually oh. did one together, too. Yeah. I mean, uh, We did? Yeah, I was actually on one with, oh, with her. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Well, they she goes to you. She goes of to course you. we were. Yeah. Um, all right, let's get to another call. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Uh, this is RJ from San Antonio, Texas. RJ, hey, what's up in Texas, River my man? What you got going on? What's up? Well, I actually uh, just the worst state ever. I think I got a pretty st funny story for y'all. Yes. What do you got? Yes, RJ. Okay, so this was back in high school, like 2009. 
Hell yeah. Um, Young bastard. Hell yeah. So I was in theater, and, um, well, I was I had a bad reputation in theater, but we'll get to that later. But um, <laughs> I ended good. up uh, talking to this girl. We hit it off a little bit, and we were kind of messing around during club hours. We probably shouldn't have been, but we finally decided, hey, let's go out on a real date. So uh, we go to the movies. Um, and we're hanging out before the movie and we're still, you know, just whatever all over each other, kind of like high school kids are. Yeah. And we're hanging out in a bookstore. All of a sudden she freaks out and like pulls me to the side and I'm like, what's going on? And she's like, that's my boyfriend's best friend over there. Uh-oh. And I'm like, oh, so you have a boyfriend. Right. Cool. So you just took and her- that pretty much ended everything. But luckily, I enjoyed the movie, which was Princess and the Frog. So I was like, well, at least I saw a nice movie. There you oh, go. Right. There you, there you go. Right, I actually was out dancing Thank in my clubbing call. days. Thanks and, for the call, dude. Uh, I was dancing, and the, right. the gal said, if my husband comes up, you're my friend from college. <laughs> Like, Someone okay. said, "Yeah, see you later." Yeah, I mean, look, I, I, for, I gotta tell you, I like the I like the bravado on RJ. Yeah, like, yeah. I mean, so I was in theater class, hey, <laughs> and I was there. I saw the boyfriend. I said, "That's it, Princess and the Frog." We were all over each that's other a, as high schoolers. Will that's amazing. We got, where, yep, where we got that, that oh, sent to us. Where did that come from? That's yeah. Please, yeah, that got sent to that's us. amazing. It will Threw wash it away all of my sin to let's, be on the show. That, <laughs> dude, so let's cool. let's get so let's get a let's get that picture and near the doors put the Hashtag of Sheridan, Sheridan for Sesame, Sesame Street. Street. I got it that time. Yeah. Right. So you know how great it is that he's blocking on. Oscar yeah. the Grouch's face. I love it. It's yeah. perfect. I don't like that. Don't block Oscar. Yeah, don't no, block Oscar. Nobody like puts Oscar. Oscar's in the a corner. grouch, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know it's not cool. I feel for him. What do you got? Cheating. Like it's just not fucking yeah. cool. Yeah, no. yeah, don't do it. No matter, even if you're a kid in high school, it just hurts people's feelings. Right. Like it's just not fucking cool. Just like when I went to when I lived in New York, I was in this theater class, and I was I did this scene with this woman, and she's like, "We should go get drinks." It was like after class, I'm like sure. Uh, went out for drinks. One thing led to another. Uh, we hooked up, and then a week later, we were like putting our one X on stage for the class. And this guy comes up to me after. He's like, "You and my wife are amazing." And I was like, "Your house are on Right. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I had been, no idea. I've right. been the other person no before idea. too, and like, and and then when I knew, I kept going, and I felt like a bag of dicks about yeah. myself See? for a, like six months. I like couldn't even look in the mirror. That's the thing, happens. though. You know, when people say, people say, I've never done, I've never drank before. I've never done, you know, whatever drugs. Sure. I'm happy to say I, don't, I can't do the cheating thing. Can't do, because. My guilt is yeah. so bad, mm-hmm. and the fact I've been cheated on, mm-hmm. and actually yeah, one of the best too. things that ever happened in my life, to be honest with you, because like it was in 2000, I told you guys, in 2004, yeah. basically, off the thing, I thought I was going to get married, thought it was going to happen, wound up, uh, pretty much, if you watch Grasping at Straws, a version of what happens in that show happens to me. And then I'm like, this is great. And then after it was over, I saw Closer. Told you about that. Yeah. Saw it Closer. It was therapeutic. Um, she wound up moving. She wound up moving out of out of state. Um, and then I started the journey. Started working at Silver Pictures right afterwards. Too. Got back into stand up. Was doing all this stuff too. Met all met a lot of my friends. Started schmoes. Did all this stuff. And had that not happened, how did you catch her? Um, so uh, we were having we were living together, and then it was um, then what, cheating when you lived. No, no, no. Together. We didn't live together at this point. So what happened was then she decided that she was going to move away, uh, move to another apartment, like right near me. And I'm like, well, why? You were living together, and she we're was going to move out. So I'm like, I didn't understand it, right? So I'm like, well, why don't we just break up? You know, if that's the case. She's like, I don't yeah. want to break up. And I and I was like, okay, like, I just want my own space. Because okay. living living together, I don't think it's it's kind of working out. So I want to move my own space. And I'm, I'm right there. I'm like, this is not good. Yeah. But I'm like, oh, what, what's what's so let's figure it out. And so it was like two or three days after like Thanksgiving, and I'm walking with my dog Taz, which you never got a chance to meet, no, but uh, Pug. And um, you remember Taz? I remember Taz. Both of you guys. And yeah. um, so we're I'm walking, and, I, and I'm go to the uh, go to the apartment, knocking on the door. I'm like, I know like. She's home. She was at this party thing last night. She was about not going to do nothing like this. I'm like, yeah, something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then I start walking. Sniff it. I'm, I'm going to start walking with the dog again. And I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this. I go back up and I'm wa- I, then I wait in the hallway and the door opens and she peeks her head out and like, deer in the headlights. I'm like, oh, I left something here last night. And, I walk over, and there's fuck face in her, in her, in her place. Right. Ooh. Yeah. I grab a chair. 
<laughs> and and I and she's grabbing me back. No, 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 no. And I look at him. I go, you better hope you're not outside in a little bit. I go, I'm gonna break your face. <laughs> I'm gonna break your face. And she's like, you should leave. And I and I, I pulled a line from uh, uh, Heat. Oh. It came right, and I go. I never cheated on you, bitch. And I walk, and I, and I walk out. But my dog, so my dog Taz comes in, and you see this in the in the pilot too. I had him in the car, and she comes over. She and he loved her, right? She goes to pet him, and he goes. Oh yeah, he uh, pulled back from her, and he would he not it. let her. Dogs, pet her. No, it was dogs, amazing. Dude, and that, but it was. Did you, dude, was that the end of seeing her though? No, she no, she wanted to work it out afterwards. I'm like, I can't. I don't trust you anymore. Yeah. I'm like, I just. I mean, we're still friends. We're friends now. Like, I, you know, when my brother passed, I called her, and I because they were close, and I let her know and everything too. And like, I was, uh, I was completely open with her and, and told everything. I was like, I just, I can't trust you anymore. You know, it, so it and, changed, it. and it changes. Every, I don't. You know remember how, her? I, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I don't I remember know how people work that. Out, you it's know, I mean, it, it really, really changes the whole thing because you can't. We, yeah, there's oh, no, you can't. Well, the craziest thing, you remember, the, you, know, you, you know paid that, that forward though. Well, but but here, but hold that thought because I don't know if you, I think I've told you this. What that day, like mm-hmm. literally, maybe forty-five minutes after the situation, right? Uh-huh. I had a meeting for at the coffee bean near that place for oh, a script with you, with me, and that's I, right. So my my friend, my friend Mike, who I talked about with with Tom on our one-on-one. He goes, hold it together, do your meeting, get your shit done. And I was like, you're I right. had no idea. And I didn't, I but didn't, you knew, had, I was fucking dying inside. You had told me, because then, like, years later, where you call me to check in about some Schmoes No Work. Yeah. And I go, uh, so this just happened. This is my marriage. Mm-hmm. And he pays this for it because he's been through it. And he goes, I'm coming over. Right. And you just show up with a six pack of beer and yeah. got me through that first night that ultimately. You know. Right, and that was it. And that it's was the best, it. best thing to happen to either one of us. That's the whole. Yeah. that's the yeah. whole point. Exactly. Because, I'm so glad it happened. Yeah. So neither one of us had kids with yeah, with this exactly. person. So yeah. it, it worked out. Yeah. But um, hey, we're being honest here on Collider Live. <laughs> uh, what's uh, that's it? That's the show. Oh on, man, on Tuesday. Here uh, too. Let's go. We three hours. Hours. What I will do, I want to say goodbye for everybody here. I want in Roxy and Brett and Riley Makuga. Make sure you check out TV Talk. And Roxy was on TV Talk yesterday. Check out Roxy on Screen yeah. Junkies. That was fun. Do the that hashtag fun. for Brett and for. Riley. Riley, check him out, and Riley Roundtable you can find on the Apple Podcast. Now, what I mentioned up top in the show with my tribute to oh, yeah. both um, my friend Brian Cashia, I want to end with a video and some audio of my brother, Kevin, um, who is a very talented musician, and he had made this 10 years ago for my friend Brian Cashia. It, you know, the sound is okay, you know. He's just had the camera on, but I hope you enjoy it. It's just, uh, it's just kind of Kevin's intro and and a little thing that we uh, we did, and we're gonna take you out with this. This is uh, a video that should have been done on September 11th, 2001, but I'm doing it now. Um, this video is in dedication to Brian Cashia, born July 20th, 1975, um, and was killed and died on. September 11, 2001, the World Trade Center attacks. Um, I grew up in Queens, Bayside, Bayside, Queens, New York, and Brian Cassia was one of my brother's great, good friends, best friends growing up. And from what I remember when I was that age, he was a real sweetheart, very good, good-hearted person. And I believe he gave me the nickname Kevin Painless because they used to do that wrestling and. WWF stuff, and I was a little wild man, so, when I was a kid. Um, but anyway, he owned a little keyboard, a little Casio, those things they had in the 80s, and uh, he, him and my brother, or they used to create movies, and he used to write little melodies, and I used to hear them, so, in some way in part he definitely helped and influenced my musical direction so and this is his song so this is a dedication to brian cassia and wherever he is wherever you are now my personal belief is the mind cannot cease it goes beyond the body but that's my belief and brian wherever you are this is to you and here we go. It's a simple little melody, which in the beginning, I'm going to play his melody and then add my own little improvisation to it. 
because they liked to. Uh, <laughs> they were thinking about writing like a an action epic kind of movie. So I'll do my best to uh, make Brian uh, proud. All right, here we go. Thank you for listening. All right, guys. Thanks again for uh, listening, and we'll uh, talk to you tomorrow.